our regular game scene. And open this up. Because we are officially at the point the embargo is lifted, we can now finally play. And it decided to detect marbles on stream anyways. All right. So like always, I'm gonna wait till it actually switches over the video to the correct thing. Um, like always, we're gonna check our settings. Uh, so it's slightly loud. We'll go with that. Um, so we're looking at settings. Let's see what we have here for accessibility. We have hold to sprint or toggle. Cool. Show input hints. Cool. Uh, hide the HUD, which sounds annoying. Uh, show willow wisps. I'm assuming that'll be like our hint system, like where they're going over here. Um, so here for accessibility, we got arachnophobia. That if you have a problem with spire, uh, wow, you are still loud. Um, we'll go with that. Okay. I uh, got arachnophobia. So if you're someone who has a problem with spiders. Um, Grounded has the same thing, and I don't know how this one works, but like in Grounded, you can say, I'm cool with spiders, and they look scary, they look like spiders, and you're like, I'm really not cool with spiders. You can crank that joker up, and you just get like, an oval that floats at you. It's mechanically the same thing, but yeah. Uh, graphics thing, we have, I turned this on, which is a frame limit. Um, normally if you're straight, like, if you're not streaming, you're playing on your own, a lot of times you don't want that. Um, it's kind of one of those things when you're playing on your own, you don't mind putting all of your resources into the game. No frame limit, have a good time. Uh, if you are streaming, you usually do want to have a frame limit because you need to make sure you have enough spare resources to actually deal with encoding your video. And sometimes if you just cut that loose, it'll be like, you wanted to see this UI menu at 280 frames per second, right? As the whole thing slideshows to your stream because it's eating everything. That volume still seems loud. Um, we have a bunch of different video modes. We have the graphics. I'll probably have to adjust these for frame rate, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Input, nothing meaningful to say here. We just got base controls, roll, dodge, jump, crouch, that kind of nonsense. Antenna sense, whatever the heck that is. Um, so there's construction in here. I figured that was going to be the case. All right. So I have not played this before. So we're a lot of people who got their hands on this. They played it some off-stream to, like, learn the mechanics. Um, I have not messed with this at all. So you have male and female bodies. Sure. It's, it's very... Not muted's the word. It's very subtle. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to call out its uh, first place back scene. Um, if someone hasn't played for the first time, uh, that's a problem because this is literally, it's its not out yet. No one's, no one's played this before. <laughs> At least they don't believe they should be able to. Like this is, this is the first time it's available, to my understanding. Hey, Raw. Been a while since I've been back. The stream, uh, seen a stream of yours. Glad I'm back. Nice. Uh, so you just have a bunch of different aesthetics. I'm gonna go with the. Hmm. We'll do the ancient ones. They got character. I'm noticing they haven't given. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, I'm noticing they haven't given me a choice for, um, hair color, but I guess we just got that. Never mind. We'll go with Ash. Yeah, so I don't know if we're, like, a fairy or a pixie or what they, they technically call us. We'll do that one. I mean, it's gonna be orange. Ah, we have our hairstyles of short, medium, long, shaved ponytail, uh, short side, 
or bald. So the uh, the hair options are fairly limited on this one. I think we'll go with medium. Ash, so they match. Oh, I was going to say, can I zoom in? Oh, that's like... Double pupil? That's upsetting in so many ways. You know what? I'm here for the weird eyes. Elongated, so you got like weird cat eye things going on. Do sapphire. That's fine. Good enough for me. I'm assuming they don't go that far because you can go, um, your game will be available for other players to join. Creatures will not attack you. I'm not going to mess with any of that for right now. There's not difference the sort of difference between start and new world. Okay, it automatically does new world stream yeah so it does mean that this is very much intended for online multiplayer uh, let me actually click over on something because people talked about um there have been talk about playing this with the group but i didn't hear what happened with it okay oh that all right we're, we're gonna have to do some graphic adjustments that uh that frame rate though. Um hi. Mm. I think that's fine. Greetings. I have been tasked with meeting with all vanguards before they leave the burrows. I have critical information to impart. Keep a keen eye trained at the owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help with your survival. Outside, you'll find Captain Herney. Like Hernia? Um. He will help you with the first days outside the burrows. Thank you. So there's the owl effigy. The overland is rich with natural resources and food. Some can only be harvested with the correct tools. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn what tool is best for the job. Press V to engage in Atena, in Atena mode um, to spot harvestable goods. I see. I have antenna vision. Okay. I kind of wish I'd switch back and forth to see what those look like when I didn't do it. I imagine that's something you probably notice them pretty easily after a while. They don't need to worry about. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged to your compendium, which you can access at any time from your inventory. Press tab to open your inventory and select the compendium section to see all your hints and yada yada yada. Boom. Um, so we got our inventory. We got crafting. We've got our map, we've got our compendium, and now we got our codex. All right. So is that stamina is on the bottom there? Um, the Burrows has an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that are home for the, to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate, um, with multiple levels of branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches. 
creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. Oh, good. I like feeling invited. Give me a resin. Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought some fresh insect eggs this morning. Gross. My wife can make a mean pixie omelette. Um, like eating the pixies? I mean, I'm down. I don't think we're pixies. I don't know what we are, but... All you need for speedy repairs is a good builder's hammer. Mold, mold everywhere. Make sure to search the owl effigies for useful information. Yeah, we already got that. May the sacred owl be with you, Vanguard. Good luck in the overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you. Stay frosty. Does fire hurt? Alright, well I can't get onto it to hurt myself, so that's interesting. Alright, science time. Okay, that's fine. Be careful, Vanguard. There's some nasty creatures out there. But first... It's not bolted down and therefore it's mine. Have you heard of the heard about the queen? I pray the sacred owl makes a full recovery. So very clearly we worship owls. Our character has been saved. Our frame rate has not. Captain Herney is stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself to him. Get some strong MMO vibes. Um, I wish it wasn't a night watch duty. The Overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. Press M to open the map, see your position in the Overland. And in custom markers to the map, also show on your compass. The compass is on the top of the screen, yep. Pretty self-explanatory. I have unlocked things to make. So we're getting some frame hiccups, so I might have to lower the graphics a little bit. I will say, the world's pretty nice looking. Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, food can be crafted on materials in the overland and crafting recipes. Learn how to craft new items. Typically you will need a crafting station to craft new items, but every vanguard knows how to craft some basic weapons and tool without a workbench uh, by pressing G. Yeah, so I have a bunch of um a bunch of stuff I can make once I get more supplies. Oh. I have been destroying stuff and then leaving all of my bounty on the ground. Okay. I'm not going back to get it all. It's fine. So so first lesson, uh the first button destroys the thing, and then you gotta pick up the bits and bobbles of it. Ready to talk to you? Armor provides protection against different types of damage, and you can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the Overland have expertise in making sets of armors for you, provided with given enough materials. Okay, so cold is a mechanic. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to Overland. I am Captain Her uh, Hernest Manakabi, but most small folks just call me Hern. What can I do for you for? Uh, can I ask you questions? Sure. What exactly do you want to know? I don't want to know these things, actually. Um, is there anything important? Can you craft me armor? Sure, Vanguard, but you'll need to bring me all the necessary materials. I would like you to craft me armor. Okay, so I need an obnoxious amount of um, fiber. And so that gave me cold protection three, cold protection nine. Do I do something with you? Is there a trade in this game? 
I was told to report to you. Ah, yes, I've been expecting you. Elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in the cave just down the hill. All right. Give me your blackberries. You'd feed an army with those things. Make sure to eat and drink regularly. Being well-nourished, I'll make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. You'll find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures in the overland for food, and even cook your own meals. You can eat food raw and prepare it through consumables, different types of situations. Yeah, so that to me implies that this is going to work like Valheim, that maybe we don't starve, but um, we get penalized if we aren't eating enough. I kind of appreciate I don't have to go up to those and chop them down like a tree where it takes me 10 minutes to get a piece of fiber. Stay away from deep water. Small folk can swim. Upon death, you'll respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. Alright, so build house, sleep in bed, don't commit die, if die, you wake up in bed. Pretty, pretty standard survival trope. Do I have a carry weight that we see? Um, no, not a carry weight, so it's probably just inventory slots. The temperature will generally drop at night and rise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out, night creature creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed... Um, a new spawn point when you have to place sleep. You can only sleep at night, um, and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered. And there must be no hostile creatures nearby. Yeah, another another standard approach to this. Which isn't which isn't a complaint. It's just like, yep, I'm familiar with that mechanic. It's been around a while. Man, these trees are just spilling resin everywhere. Can I take the feather? I am going to lower the graphics in our setting. It's not bad, but the frame rate's a little not great. Like, and it might even be a GPU thing. It might be, like, loading in and out the map kind of thing. Hey, look, I got an achievement called A Very Small Step. Vanguard, finally, you're here. Oh, this is how he says, when I'm back at my computer... Oh, with my headphones, I can tell the audio difference. Oh, you just changed the mic a minute ago? I did not. I actually forgot to change the mic in a while. Um, we've been on the same mic ever since I started this game. Now I've changed the microphone. <laughs> that's, um, that's a strong supporting argument of that it's, uh, that it's not actually that big of a difference. <laughs> Elder, what are you going to do? What are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key is unlocked. The apothecary chest is gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen, and we're trying to find some other means of opening the chest. I don't care by that. I was told you requested my presence. Ah, uh, yes, we have just read troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does it have anything to do with the clover key? It is an interesting coincidence. But we have no evidence to suggest there's a connection. We find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so they have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. A Hearn um, and Caleb can survive Father's fear. Yeah, Chris says the EQ might be slightly different. Yeah, no, that's um, that's that's something I noticed. Is like it sounded different between the two headsets. Like you could tell that they were different, but not like quality. Like. You know, the microphone is slightly more positioned over this way than that way. A walnut chest. It looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back, there are some hinges. On the front, there's a strange cavity with a four cleave lower. Try to open it. You try to force it open, but it won't budge. Okay. Alright, antenna vision.
Hey, Prunder, how's it going? This feels like someone was like, I like Fern Gully, let's make a game. You know, except we're not fighting the people trying to cut down the trees as far as I'm con aware. Okay. So they put stuff on my map. We have Kayla, we have Druist. How big is this map? Alright, so... So it's not a huge, huge map, because this is the area we've walked is between those two points. So it's not a ridiculously large map, but it's not a small map. Um, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of up and down, because that was one of the things I was led to believe, is there is a lot of elevation to deal with. So it could be like Subnautica, where, you know, while they're, if you look at the map, it's just like, width and all that it's big but not huge but when you consider in there's like four or five layers of depth to it to deal with it you know it's kind of weird in that it it's effectively like being a map four times its size all right well let's check our tools all right so you can make a wood hatchet for harvesting less hardy resources a club for attacking threats a builder's tool for making stuff and a torch. So we'll start with the hatchet. Apparently I already had a wood club and all that. A builder's hammer and a torch. So I made all the things. Um, so we'll say hatchet second, this first. And I've immediately noticed that durability is something on these. Vertical is great? Yeah. Okay, am I actually going the right direction? Because I've been totally ignoring everything. Okay. No surprise, swinging weapons use the stamina. There are five distinct weapon types you vanguards can wield. Blunt, edged, piercing, poison, and fire. And the creatures you encounter in Overland have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to each. Uh, so pay attention to the icon next to her health. Alright. So I see a fearsome predator over here. The likes of which we are not prepared. The infamous ladybug. And that's not even a joke. Ladybugs are effing scary in real life. If you are the size of this. You gonna be cool? Cool. Oh. I wanted to test out uh I wanted to test out murder. But yeah, ladybugs are absolutely murder machines of the bug the bug world. They're fearsome predators. You really do find resin everywhere. Part of me is wondering if I should be so aggressively grabbing everything. Ah! I don't know the controls of this game yet. Hey, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be hard for you to climb, but um, it definitely was not. What what is dodge? There we go. Oh, I don't have stamina. Do I think? Retreat. The ants are too powerful.
Well. All right, so ants in this game, real aggressive. I also don't know where I am now because I went to full retreat from the ants. Hey, Pop Monster. All right, so we got an ant head. Hard, sturdy, and great for protection, yet delicious delicious and crunchy when cooked. Bugs limp, clear thick fluid extracted from insects. It helps with cooling and weather. And dehydrating stuff, alright. Um so I don't really know how to heal. another way to eat that doesn't involve all that a mushroom straight steak oh just right clicking on it eats all right where's home hey hern buddy i walked off on my own and i need an adult Now, I haven't noticed anything like running and having it go, hey, you know, by the way, whatever. A perception such as a precipitation such as rain and snow can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. Rain will also make plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Furthermore, weather affects temperature. Okay. So weather's a mechanic. I think you have a certain level of nourishment reached. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. It's a pretty standard mechanic, but yeah. That's how it appears. Stay away from... Yeah, we already know about the deep water. We can't swim. That's the important bit. So crafting... Um, we got the padded bracers. Ah, interesting. So you have two different outfits to choose from. I have ones that are more defensive and ones that are more mobility oriented. Interesting. But, buddy, what do I do with the stuff I don't want anymore? Can I just... Can I just... Can I just... Okay, and they drop in a bag. Okay. What's antenna vision look like at night? Okay, so do a good job of at night, it doesn't get blindingly bright. So, um, structures, campfire, workbench, simple bed, simple wood chest, we can build a foundation, buildings, decorations, all right, but I really don't know where I should build, like, I assume there's some type of, like, farming or something in this game.
Uh, did you get any background or lore for the small people? Not really, not yet. Um, but we might get that soon. For right now, we, we are small people. That may have been a mistake. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we are we are getting the the occasional frame skip. Um and I think that just happens to be because of how much the world is loaded in at any given time. Um so the only things we know is I guess the queen or whatever is sick. Um we worship the great owl, which I'm assuming is that. And I hope it's something silly like the great owl is just like someone's ceramic owl or whatever. Hi, giant terrifying moth. All right, let's let's build stuff for the moment. Um So, the workbench, I can make simple bandages. I think we already have a crude hatchet. They have wood hatchet. We can make a crude hatchet, but that requires chitlin, which will be off of bugs. Wood swords. A mandible pickaxe. I can make wood arrows. A ladybug travel kit. This kit includes a special treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpacks designed to attach to their four, uh, four wings. An additional storage space for ladybug to carry. That's kind of cool. So apparently we can mount ladybugs and use them as vehicles. Not seeing... There's the simple bow. Oh, the bow just requires wood, and then we have what we need for arrows. Um, okay. Uh, what else can we make? Simple chest. For a bed, I need more wood. We have that. We have the foundation. The thing is, I don't know where is worth living. Okay, it does look like I get my materials back when I disassemble something. At least they don't do that nonsense where every time you build something, they're like, nope, you only get one, you know, like 10% of your resources back. Go far more. Now, down there is where we ran into ants. So I don't want to fight the ants in the dark if I can help it. A storm approaches, seek shelter. Alright, well for the moment my shelter is going to be running into someone else's home and living there. Um... Okay. Testing. Okay, so you cannot murder people. Can I drink from your basin here? No. Alright. So I was really hoping we would not have a storm or whatever's going on. So that we could explore, figure out where we wanted to start building a home and start building a home. Because they assume our size being rained on is probably horrifying.
storm is broken, remain sheltered. One moment. Get struck by lightning, aren't I? You are freezing. Oh, those camera shake effects are aggressive. It's like you are actively dying. Okay. So, storm is a bad time. All right. That uh that screen shake is pretty aggressive. Give me a moment. Just check one thing. Um I assume there's nothing to turn that off. No, I didn't think so. Alright, so that's one negative is that screen shake can mess with people. Um and I get the idea is to notify you that there is a storm going on there. Alright, so storms are quick. That's good news. I was worried it was gonna be like the entire in-game day it was gonna be storming and we'd just stay stuck down there. But it does look like the thing that shows up, and it lasts just long enough that if you were caught outside, that it would probably finish the job. That's not too shabby. So far, I haven't noticed any type of, like, leveling or progression mechanic on my character. Like, I haven't noticed that, like, you've gained a skill in chopping wood, or you know, endurance or XP gain or anything like that. That doesn't mean there isn't one, but we haven't haven't noticed that as a mechanic. Gotcha, I've already seen an owl, the eyes don't light up anymore, so that's how I tell. Alright, so when we went down over there, we got attacked by ants. I'm gonna try and scooch there's the ants. Yes, the anthill's over there somewhere. Go away. Okay. Use bows and arrows to hit creatures from afar. It can be particularly against, uh, effective against flying creatures. To use a bow, you must have both bow and arrows equipped. Draw holding left click and release to shoot the arrow. Different bows have different characteristics. Some are more accurate and others are more powerful. Okay. So I wanted to check this effigy. The ants will chill for a second. When you dismantle the structure, all materials used originally about are cool. Go away, ants. You'll never know love. Um, hey Infinity Simplex, how's it going? Yeah, so over there somewhere is like the ant hill or whatever, and they're very not cool with me being there. Well, actually, I mean, they're carpenter ants, so they're probably living in the tree. Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as kind of divinity. Idols, statues, and decoration are crafted in their honor. Hi, owl. I'm just going to grab all the things that people are trying to give you because I don't believe in your holiness. You're a wooden owl. So, anyway, thank you. Uh, things are going well here. Good. We, uh, we are being a small... I still haven't established if we're like... A pixie or what we are. A fairy, a pixie. We're some we're some type of small mythical creature who has antenna vision. So if you can't see stuff, it just points it out. Lots of wood over there. 
I like that for our scope, collecting wood is like collecting the smallest bits of broken twig. Needs a crude hatchet. Are you friendly? Giant grasshopper. He has some nice beachfront property. Are you friendly? I don't want to hit you if... Because you're big and scary compared to me. Poisonous mushroom. There's poison types of weapon in the game. So I'm assuming I use poisonous mushroom. For like a small humanoid? Something like that. So the lessons we've learned is... Grasshopper seems chill. Ants are an absolute menace. Oh man, we got a bottle cap. Uh, yeah, I think we live here. We'll, we'll check up here and see if there's like a better vantage point. But I'm assuming water is useful. And we'll have our own poisonous mushrooms, which I'm assuming will be good for us as well to hurt things with. Uh, we're gonna get rye. It's time to start making some beer. Or just get five and larger quantities. And seeds. Um, no, 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 no. You're big and scary. I don't want it. I don't want it. Go away. Let me be. Yeah, you two fight. Team Grasshopper. Let's do this, Grasshopper. Through that fire ant. Or bull ant. You've been avenged, Grasshopper. Oh, it's not actually a cave. So, we have established I can get directly behind the, uh... The ant. And just keep slashing at it and I'll win. Yeah, it's definitely ants are not our friends. Um, I assume bull ants are way scarier than carpenter ants. Because it was definitely bigger than the carpenter ants. We saw it over there. We got lots of poison mushrooms up here. There isn't much of a vantage point visibility wise. Oh, actually, these are edible mushrooms. Childhood me can attest, ants are not our friends. Adult me can attest to that too. <laughs> I think the worst I ever had was there was a, um, a pile of, like, where can you get this game? That is a good question. I know it's on, uh, I know it's on Steam. Um, I believe, I think it came out for sale today. They gave me a key. Oh, I need to put that in my title. It's not a requirement, but I like to do so. Thanks. Thanks for the key, devs. Tomorrow on Steam. Thank you. Yeah, so it's available on Steam, just it comes out tomorrow. Um, but they gave me a key to check it out a day early. Like, it became... I was only allowed to start streaming it as of about 40 minutes ago, is when they lifted the embargo. Um, they actually gave us the keys a while back, so a number of people have been playing it for a good while. But, um... We've only been able to make content for people to consume for the last 40 or so minutes. Do you know what the price point will be? Uh, I'm willing to bet it'll probably be on the page for it. Let me look. Store page. 
Um, it does not say. Uh, I do not know, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what the price is going to be. I don't think they did. They give that. They didn't. They didn't give me that information, did they? Um, I don't know the answer to that. One of the, one of the challenges you also run into it is unfortunately, um, depending on where you're located, the games are going to be different prices. Sadly. So it makes it really hard to say. That's usually what I end up doing is when someone's like, how much does it cost? Well, it's like, well, it costs this much here and that much there and that much there. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know what the answer is to that question. I'd love to know if um, if anyone's able to look that information up for me. Because I try to pull up the Steam page. It's just like, add it to your wish list. I think I think we're going to live here. In this like little spot here. For me, it's US dollars. Well, it's not only US dollars because there's more than just the US that uses US dollars. It's different places have different price ranges and all that. Um, unfortunately, I don't I don't know what the cost is. Is there a way to move you up or down? Oh, I can. Um, that's a roof. We have a door. I'm assuming that's inside because the twigs are exposed. All right, so the building stuff feels pretty good. I am noticing they're like turning things yellow, so I am curious if it'll wear. Um, let's see. Is there a wall I can put there. fine. It looks like a grounded clone. Uh, so far it looks like it's going to have a lot more to it than grounded did. Not, not like as a demissive thing to grounded. Um, like already I feel like, cause I, I messed with grounded a little bit. It does seem like there's way more here. Like, Grounded feels more Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. This feels more Fern Gully, if that makes any kind of sense. Oh, I have a power attack. And now I know. Alright, so do we have any fiber nearby?
Nope. Yeah, unfortunately I can't cut it down. I need a better axe for that. Some different here. I see you over there, Bull Ant. We can be cool, alright? I don't have to kill you. Alright? You mind yours and I'll mind mine. Um, which says, I'm seeing 24.99 USD, uh, 23.14 uh, EU from Epic Games. I mean, there's an early key purchase for $21 at third party sites. Gotcha. And always be careful with the third party sites. It's not that they're necessarily not not reputable um you just got to be careful because you can't always tell all right so it looks like there's just the stairs so now the question is i have a chimney which is not a real thing, apparently. For a moment, I thought it would be like Valheim. Oh, I guess it's just cosmetic to have a chimney. All right, sure. So what we're going to establish is, is my house flammable? Hey, the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, all right, decorations. A bottle cap table. I'm trying to put these around so that um, if I get separated from my home, I can possibly see my torches and be like, ah, that way's home. All right, let's see if our structure is good enough for a storm. I don't know. Um, all right, so we can make mushroom steak, grilled grasshopper, and ant skewers. Mm. Enjoy yourself some nice, uh, nice ant head. I'm going to avoid eating it right now. I want to see if, um... I want to see if we don't eat if we start to take damage. I want to see if it's like Valheim where the food is more about buff and strength. Um, or if it's like other survival games where food is you die if you don't have it. Oh, and we are chilling in the house because storms are real sketch in this game. Yeah, storm is broken or main sheltered. Oh, I... Do not like that. Okay, um, devs for this game- oh no, that's not because of the storm, that's because I'm starving. Yeah, that, um, that waving effect, these shake effects, they need to be able to turn that off or suppress it. That's gonna really mess with people with motion sickness really, really badly. Um, what is malnourished? What do, you, what do you do? Okay, we are actively dying. Alright. That is what I wanted to know. So, 
Food consumption is a must. Yeah, it looks like it was draining my stamina, it was draining my health, and it had a down arrow on my stomach, which was curious that, like, that... <laughs> Ground Helm. Paladin. Um, I think the storm's over. All right. So pretty soon I need to make a new axe. Um, the thing I need to make a better axe is Chitlin, uh, which is usually the shell of beetles and stuff like that. Oh, there's a beehive over there. I don't know if bees are friends or not. No, Ant, I see you over there. I'd rather not fight you in the dark. Chitin? Oh, I'm sorry. Titan. Beetle shells. I will say... At, ah, ah, what are you? What are you? Get away from me. Huh. Was that the grasshopper? Does the grasshopper become super mean at- Oh god. Hey, don't do that. Isn't the game all right? This ground is a very different game. Like the theme is the same, the game is not the same. All right, let's see if I can't draw it to the bull ant and make them fight and then run away. Um, like thematically, think of this one as Fern Gully, and think of grounded as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Hey, ant. Hey, ant. Hey, ant. Kill. No, 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 no. Ant, 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 ant. Hear me out. No, no, no. Ant, ant. Stop it. You're supposed to kill each other. That was the entire strategy. You did it before. Please do it again. Nighttime sucks. I hate this place. I dropped all my things and died. Hey, people. Good seeing you again. I definitely didn't die out in the wilderness. Alright, so it does mark my gravestone. Interestingly enough, I don't see it on my compass. Do I have to actually click on it to mark it on my compass? Oh, there you are. Cool. Yeah, I know the, um... So, Ground is basically like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which is an old movie from back in the day. Um, that the gist of it is the father is the scientist, makes a shrink ray, shrinks the kids, and they gotta deal with, like, just, like, the bugs in their yard and all that kind of stuff, trying to get unshrunk. Um, and while that one had base building stuff, I don't remember, like, I didn't play it much. I don't remember how big the base building was in it. Um, whereas, when you look at Fern Gully, Fern Gully was, was it Disney who made it? No. I remember who made it. Um, it was more, I can't remember if they were fairies or pixies or whatever, uh, but it was like the most screamiest, screaming environmentalist thing ever, that basically there's the big, bad, scary, you know, lumbering company trying to cut down the sacred grove or whatever they called it. Um, and then, you know, 
they would fight against that. Now, granted, this one doesn't have, like, the whole or overarching thing of, like, the giant grove or whatever you gotta protect. At least not that I'm aware of. But, yeah. Uh, Chris, I missed the reason why we're homesteading out there. No idea. Because they gave it as an option. Now, let's see. Um, it's pretty big. Built some big stuff. Right. But I don't know, like, how... Like, I haven't played grounded much. Um, but, I, like, I don't know how important it is to build the base versus you can build the base kind of thing. If that makes sense. Like, there's lots of games that you can do base building, but, um, there's a lot of games where you base build, and you're like, but what's the point? It's like, for example, in Project Zomboid, there's really not a big reason you need to base build, but you can. You do it because you want to. Uh, let's see, Chris. The feature di uh, directorial debut of Bill Croyer, Fern Gully, was scripted by Jim Cox and adapted to from the Fern Gully series by Deanna Young. A film is an Australian and American venture produced by Croy Films Incorporated. Young Heart Production, FAI Films, the 20th Century of Fox. Got Fox, dude. Yeah, that's the thing, is like, Disney. No, wait, no, it's not. That Cheerio scene in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids um, scared the death out of me. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is one of those things I'm... I'm not surprised it didn't stick around, but I kind of wish it had. Because it does, it does have, like, a lot of stuff in it that's, like, really well done. So, I'm waiting for daytime, because I'm poorly equipped to deal with much out here right now. And my weapon's almost broken. Um, crafting. I was trying to see if I can repair this, or... I mean, I'll make a spare. I still have all the other stuff. I don't really need to worry about grabbing more of that. That's weird. Do I have two torches? Is that what's going on? No. Huh. So this axe stays in its spot and disappears from my in... Oh, because it's equipped over here on the right side. I see. I guess. Um, and as far as the pausing, I am noticing, I don't think the game is actually pausing when I hit escape. Because it definitely seems like this game is intended to be played multiplayer. Um, like, it's not MMO in the aspect of, I'm not joining on some giant server where there's hundreds of other players or whatever going on like that. But, um, it does seem to be a server even if I'm by myself. It's just I'm hosting a server for me, is the way it feels like it. Um, but I can open it up for others to join and that kind of nonsense. I see you, Carvin Durant. Let's go. Go away. Go back to your home. I'm continuing on. Go serve your queen or whatever. There's the beehive I saw. Take all. Okay. Alright, so the way it looks like with the grasshoppers is during the day, they're chill. At night, they are murder machines. Alright. And it was smart enough that it did put back my, um... My stuff where it belongs. Alright, so we made that a respawn point.
Okay, so when you break a tool, it doesn't go away. It becomes terrible. Oh, that pub is way better. practice a little combat. So grilled grasshopper legs. Alright. Um so a cabinet. Wrap table. Oh that's decorations. So I'd say my first my first complaint is these storms the amount it shakes your screens. Um, is a problem. So I need stone. All right. So but the question is, what do I do with my oh repair? Okay, cool. No saying to turn it down. No, not not that I saw. If there is, I over I didn't see it. Alright, so I need to find a source of um Titan to make a crude axe. Did make two axes. The thing for right now, I'm gonna take the extra axe here, drop it on the ground. Um, what do I need to make a chest? Wood. And I'm assuming, based on context clues we've gotten as we've gone along the way, later when I go to get wood, I won't have to cut down, I won't have to pick up like the twigs, I'll be able to like, cut down, maybe it's those... those things there. Um, so I'm getting like little trace amounts of wood here and there. I'll be able to get like a big junk of wood all at once. See the bull land up there. I'm hoping it'll just not notice me. I don't have to worry about. It. All right, so right up the hill from us is a bull ant's nest. We have a grasshopper that spawns right where we're at. So this game does seem to have like spawn location kind of mechanics to it. That there's like a grasshopper spawns around here. The bull ants spawn over there. Back around the bend, there's some carpenter ants spawn, um, which isn't unusual for the style of game. Alright. We have both poisonous and edible mushrooms spawn around here. Um, the game did mention that one of the damage types you can do to stuff is poison. So, I'm kind of excited about the idea of being able to make poisonous weapons and just poison some ant and be like, that's a you problem now. Yeah, there it is. Those are poisonous mushrooms, the red ones. Alright, so, let's build ourselves a chest. Or front or back to this? That'd be the front. Um, alright. An exceptionally strong 
A sharp ant mandible, perfect for crafting a durable pickaxe. Yet delicious and crunchy when grilled. Seeds, nutritious cooking ingredient. They can be used for the ground flour. Poisonous mushrooms. Yeah, for right now, I'm cool just keeping everything on us. We have to have a spare hammer. Let's put that away. Never mind, it's not a spare. What we will do is this broken hatchet can go in the box. Seems like it's raining forever. I'm not going to get heightened from an ant, I don't think. See if I can't find a beetle somewhere. Still trying to get the feel for dodging and everything this game. It doesn't look like it does an iframes thing. It looks like you gotta dodge actually clear the attack, which is fine. Um, so you make a wood sword, which has 8 to 11 cutting damage. You have the wood club, which is 6 to 8. Let's see. You have the simple bow. Oh, yeah, the mandible pickaxe. You probably want that. That's a tool. Thank you, Moriarty, for subscribing for 14 months. Time is passing quickly, but I'm happy to have been here for over a year. Thank you, Moriarty, for the tier one sub. You've been subbed to the channel for 14 whole months. I really do appreciate that continued support. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, like over a year and all that. Uh, it's a big deal. So thank you so much for the continued support. It does mean a lot. I really do appreciate that. You know, you'd continue to support the channel and all that good stuff. Thank you again for that continued support. I do hope you're enjoying your advertisement free viewing as well as access to the emotes. Alright, so let's look at our new tools we got. We got ourselves a bow. We can put that in the second slot. Put the axe in third. Pick axe in fourth. Build hammer in fifth. And we'll actually put the porch in fifth. And build hammer in sixth. All right. Those are your favorites? Oh yeah, some solid emotes. But do you have any arrows? Yeah, I made a handful of arrows. I just got achievements, Stone Age. So this continues to escalate until we get laser guns, right? We just keep up teching. So then I'm a tiny, fairy, pixie, whatever the heck I am, running around blasting ants with laser guns. Um, for the record, like, I had hoped to play this multiplayer, um, when we first started, like, I had other content creators. Um... That may still happen later in the stream. Uh, a lot of the organization stuff kind of fell on the wayside with everything else going on, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll see where that ends up. It feels very Valheim-esque. So far. Not in like a bad way, I think. Just it feels like it has a lot of Valheim-esque feel to it. So, none of the stuff here required stone. 
I was about to ask, um, why does this feel so similar? It's just the way you build stuff and all that. Like, we haven't had, like, big bosses or something. I don't know what the stone's used for yet. I just broke all that stone, and I don't have anything that you use. Oh. Oh, right. Um, there's the stone crafting bench. So we need a bottle cap, a screw, and some wood. And we have seen a bottle cap earlier. Oh, no, that's a drop. Yeah, so I have 10, 10 seeds. We don't have anything with the poisonous mushrooms yet. Put the resin away for right now. The bug's limp for right now. Can feed creature. Actually, we'll hold on to that. That's curious. That heavily implies we have the ability to uh, to tame animals in some manner. Or if not tame them, like, in other words, utilize them. Alright, um, let's see. Let's see if I can't get over this beehive. There's some ladybugs over there. That might be a crossing way down there, past the bull ants. Alright. Nope, use, use edit. Now you have to tame a grasshopper. The hopper was a jerk. I wonder what the respawn time is on stuff like the bull ants. Like if I could go through here, kill the bull ants real fast, and make this area safe for me. Yeah, so it looks... Could you build a bridge over the stream? Maybe. Um, so, yeah, but that bull ant needs a late dodge. Now I've noticed the same thing. So I think to build, one moment. Sorry, was this having? Oh, I may have had the wrong mic going. Which mic was I on? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be gross. Let me switch back to my normal mic, because I'm not used to that. I'm used to using the mic up here. I am so sorry. I don't... I'm pretty sure that picked up on the mic. That was probably all the gross. Um, I'm experimenting with two mics today, so I do apologize. Uh, yeah, so my assumption is that it works like Valheim. Gross for all is gross. Everyone leaving. Yeah, I'm sorry, like... I was experimenting with a second mic, and it's on the other mic, so I muted this one, but this wasn't the mic I was using. Um, but what I was going to say... Oh, actually, I just realized I have to repair these walls. I had a grasshopper attack it earlier. But, um... That lost a train of thought. So, it looks like when you look at the buildings, if you notice... I mean, they're all pretty orange. They're, like, slowly turning redder. Like, that one's a bit redder than that. I think it works like Valheim, where it has to have supports to work. And my guess is, if I put a foundation here and I start building that way, it's going to get to a point it doesn't have enough support. That would be my assumption. I don't have the materials to do it, otherwise I'd try it. Yeah, so it looks like that log is going to be our way across. It's got that bull ant there. I'm assuming it full heals when it de-aggros. 
Can I sneak behind you? Oh, whoa, good. What are you? Whatever you are, I don't want it. What were you? Whatever you are, I don't, I don't, not fan. That's pretty. You know there's gonna be all sorts of wild base building like off of this, making, you know, like some tree house thing that hangs off the sides of all this. Now, most likely, if these bees behave like actual bees, this shouldn't be horrifying. We got a bunch of ants down there. They look like the carpenter ants. Um, the beehive is past them. Well, there's a bottle cap. I actually need that. I don't know if that's some kind of roach or what you are. Whatever it was, it was a big old meanie head. Can I get kiting from you? <laughs> Alright, so those things just straight up take off you try and hit them. Um, so I don't really have the means of killing them right now. Because they're faster than I am. So I saw there was more carpenter ants over there. There are bees up there. Now, in real life, these bees should be okay with me. This is a video game, though, and they said the animals are aggressive. Oh, please don't be aggressive, because there is a lot of you here. Nope, 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 nope. Aha! I don't want it! You're awful, I hate you! I also can't really dodge you! Maybe you smell? Something like that. About the only thing that are my friends are the ladybugs. So I want that bottle cap. What what are you doing? You can't wait for scent integration into games. That's um that's always been a classic meme. Alright, so I want the bottle cap. The big murder bug next to it, I do not want.
Ready to sneak out the lurk? All right. Smell of vision. Yep. All right. We're just going to keep trying to dodge that. I got the bottle cap. That's one of the things I require for making my stone working. Um, I need to find a nail, though. All right, there's a dragonfly. And I am quickly finding that almost everything in this world hates me. Stop it. You'll never know, love. I did not want to fall off that. We are in full retreat. We did... I would really like to get to my house and go to sleep before the grasshopper goes nocturnal, hostile, murder thing. Is that some kind of... I'm not sure. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. We can be cruel, murder grasshopper. You fall into a deep slumber. Excellent. You'll feel rested and hungry. Actually, wasn't really that hungry. Oh, why? What? What are you... Why are you trying to be all murdery? Ow! No hitting me through the wall. What? Why are you attacking me? Oh, it's not you. Wait. I slept. You shouldn't exist anymore. Stop it. I've already been up here. Alright, well, that's super annoying. So, lesson learned. Don't try and just sneak past stuff and go to sleep. It'll still be there when you wake up. It doesn't despawn them while you sleep. In case you're wondering. What does make me curious, then, is the stuff like that. Does it just bugger off at some point? Like... Do they show up, they hunt at night, and then daytime comes off and they run away if you're not nearby? Or do you have to get away from the despawn? That's something we're going to have to figure out and do some testing on. And imagine with the way the things spawn is I can't just, like, wall off an area so that they don't spawn nearby me kind of thing. Being the strong impression that's not going to be a thing. So I still need chitin, and I need to find a nail. Those are keys over there. Or oh, sorry, not a nail, a screw. Can you swim? No, the game is like your like it just mentions, you know, whatever you are, small smallings or whatever. They're like, cannot swim. That should be everything I need to make a stone working bench. Can you float? No, you. When it says you can't swim, you drown. I haven't tested it yet, but it was very clear that, like, 
swimming and like that that is something I don't want to fall into that I'll fall into it and I'll be respawned like a boat hey 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 stop no Your timing is weirding me out, man. I'm just trying to... Oh my god, please just go away. Okay. I want a lot more weapons that are a lot better because the sheer amount of just critters here is deeply upsetting. And every time you turn around, you get mildly jump scared by whatever critters decide to check you out of your place. Alright, I need more stone. It shouldn't be a problem. Well, actually, I don't need more stone. I forgot I have stone in here. No, oh, a simple bed. So we have an apothecary table that requires refined wood and a cauldron that requires. Would you, would you get out of my house? Come on. All right. So we can make a stone spear. We can make seed oil. They can be used to refine other resources. All right. So I need seed oil for, um, that. So we have a stone hammer. We have a flint hatchet, which will require flint. Flint spear. Okay. So stone spear is going to be an improved weapon. I'll probably get our um, titan. That kind of stuff. Flint we will probably just find here and there. What did I need for... The crude axe? Yeah, the crude axe, I need chitin. Yeah. Let's make the stone spear. A hardy weapon needing an understanding of cutting. Okay, so we're making a spear. Now I've unlocked the recurve bow. So it seems like that's going to be a replacement for our club for the most part. So I'm going to put the club away because I don't want to carry this much junk on me. Uh, where's our club? No, seriously, where's our club? You're here somewhere. Let's put the bottle cap and the screws away as well. But seriously, where'd the club go? Did I drop it? Pickaxe, da 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 No, I just don't see it anymore. Weird. Testing time. Hey, uh, hey you. Considerably more damage. I approve. Was the bomb left you had in your... I don't know if it swapped when you went... Okay, I'll check here in just a moment. Alright, so we're going to be looking for... You know what I bet you? I bet you those big red bugs... Um, those probably give us chitin. I 
I see. Okay, thank you. Oh, do I have what I need to make a va some bandage? Let's make bandages. Alright, so let's try and see if we can't find those big red beetles and win a fight. Because the bull ants gave us our pickaxe. Just deal with it. Hey. Hey. It's not utter grace, but that spear does work way better on them. Okay, so you're weak to edged damage. Alright, so those plants don't show up as anything. We have a whole lot of rye up there. Bandage up real fast. Pierce damage, resistance to edge. I'm assuming what I'm using is considered pierce. I don't know if there's an idea of assassination or whatever, but we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, you hate that. Get wrecked. Okay, yeah, it does it does give us chitin. We gotta find those things and kill them. Some of them moving quickly over there. I'm how I'm liking the game so far. I'm at a good time with it. Um, and thank you for the compliment about the shirt. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. It's taking a little adjusting to, but um, it's been really good so far. We've just figured out how to get our chitin. Can you one-shot a ladybug? This is a question. Hey, hey you. Let's go ahead and... This, because I think I needed, what was it, like four or six chitin? It's a bull ant. I don't really need you. There's no other beetles over there. Guess there's more bull ants over there. I think that's enough for what we need. I 
kind of looks like Outworld meets Grounded. Yeah. Like, the feel of the world, the, the comparison I've been doing is Grounded feels like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids um, versus this field's more Fern Gully. Would you back off? This game was in development before Grounded? Gotcha. Get a stall two years back. Gotcha. For recording? Oh, recoding. Ah, uh, gotcha. So they ran into some type of problem and they went and did some kind of overhaul. Makes sense. All right. So crude hatchet go. And with that, we're gonna take our regular hatchet, put in the box, get the crude hatchet, and we're already by plants we can pull up. I was like, I bet Microsoft money played a big role in Obsidian's ability to get grounded to the market as fast as it did. Oh yeah. Hello there. Hey Zambosis, how's it going? All right, so we're finding more wood. So I gotta figure out where I get flint from. That's fine. I will have some more ant skewers, mushroom steak. Oh, beetle sausage. Why? I would be silly to not get myself some beetle sausage. Look, man, it's about to be nighttime. And then the big scary night, uh, night thing comes out. Um, let's look at our damage types and our weapons. So we have... You have edged damage as your primary damage. Um, you have pierced damage. You have a lot of pierced damage. Yeah, so it looks like right now that hatchet is our, our best edge damage. I was getting on my wish list before Grounded even came out. Let's see, gotcha. Two years is a really fast turnaround. So we do have blunt damage. So it does seem like this is one of those games I'm going to have to sit here and... um. Not rock, paper, scissors it, but have a bunch of different damage types available. Because there's certain enemies like this enemy is weak against that. Really? I, it felt like it was going to be night a time. No, that's a straight up daylight. Alright. Okay, so up here... Well, actually, we have one right back here. I, no, don't. Alright, let's fix our own building. So what are you going to give me? You gave me petals, wood, and fiber. What do... Oh, the petals are going to be for the apothecary, aren't they? And what do I need for the apothecary again? I need bark. Um, so we can make the cauldron, and we can make the... I don't know where... I mean, I assume I get the bark from the tree. Um, but we can make the other stuff pretty easily. Just the style of game this is, like, like, 
where how you position the camera or thing, it feels very, very MMO-esque that I keep expecting to be like, you got a level better at pierce damage or a level better at rock harvesting or whatever. Like, I haven't seen anything to apply that, but it feels very like that should be a thing. Because I haven't noticed any type of, like, any any character progression beyond gear. It looks like it's entirely tied to gear. Yeah, where's your usage-based level up? Yeah. I'm not against it not having it, by the way. It's just so much of the game almost feels like it caters towards it. So recurve is refined, and I need silk thread. Silk thread is going to almost certainly be, um... These spiders. I'd be very surprised if we had silkworms in this game. Alright, so I need refined wood. It means I need to cut down a lot of rye. Now it said that these were weak against edge damage. How's it so far? I'm at a good time with it. Starting to get a pretty good feel for it. So the mauve is definitely the equivalent of trees. It does seem like if I take the time to kill the uh, the ants and such, they do take a while to respawn, which is good. Thank you, Zomboses, for subscribing for five months. Thank you, Zomboses. Keep up the good work, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Zomboses, for the Prime Gaming sub. You only get one of those a month, and you use it right here. And I really do appreciate that continued support. It does mean a lot. You've been subbed to the channel for five months, and... You know, that's a long time, so thank you. Um, I do hope you're enjoying your advertising free viewing as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again for all that support. And thank you for so much for everyone who has been, like, you know, doing all the subs and all that kind of stuff. By all means, everything helps, like, just tuning in, lurking, all that kind of stuff. But very directly having that kind of monetary support does really make a lot of this possible. See, my arm is getting tired watching the one-hand chop animation. Uh, well, you don't realize it. I still don't, like, they call them, like, smallins or whatever they are. Um, you just don't realize that they're built different. Like, their muscle density, for as tiny as they are, they're like a raccoon or a bear or something. They're just raw muscle. Ooh, garlic. Oh, jeez. Hi. Hi, friend. I'm gonna stab you in the face because you scared the crap out of me. Sawyer so Beetle's all like... Have you ever known fear? I've unlocked a pixie omelette. Mmm. I see you, Bullant. Let's get the garlic and then get down from here. I tell the beetle, have you ever met Boot? Yeah, the problem is my boots are real small.
So you're vulnerable to blunt damage. Alright. Oh, I broke my armor. Oh, you just followed me perfectly fine. I was hoping the pathing would take him long enough to get around. I could just ditch him. I think I have a strategy, though. Let's see you get past that grasshopper. The power of hiding on a tiny little spot of water. You never saw it coming. Uh -huh. Well, we're just going to chill here for a minute while we recover a little bit of health before we mess with that. I wonder if there's a way to make this place a lot safer for us. Because that nighttime grasshopper is becoming a real problem. And he's just kind of annoying. I'm embarrassed that grasshopper's inability to jump to you. Yep. Stone club? I'd have to go make it. Oh, you, uh... Alright, well. Hmm. I don't know why I ran up there, so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm laughing for, um. Historically, all. Okay. Alright, so we did manage to. You. Stop! It's morning. Go away. You're nocturnal. You shouldn't be here anymore. I figured I had ditched you up the hill and got to sleep. That it'd all be fine. That looks like autocorrect got you in that one. That's... Yeah, I don't really get it. It won't be so bad, but I only have the wood club. It does not do much, that grasshopper. Preparing everything. Alright. Okay, now back to what we were working on. Um, I want the cauldron or the apothecary thing. Uh, it has to be the cauldron. So we'll make our seed oil. And make our refined wood. Now let us make a cauldron. Over a blazing fire for meals. Okay, it has its own fire built in. 
I thought it was gonna be like the Valheim thing where I have to like actually build over fire. Okay. Um, let's see. We can make fey chowder, which uses garlic leaf and insect fat and all that kind of stuff. This is all food. Boiled poisonous mushroom. The poisonous mushroom is just edible, apparently. What do you even give me? Do you... Alright, that's fine. We'll have both of them. Um... So, I need to make my next thing. Oh, a tannery. So we need flint for the tannery, or we need bark. So we're looking at flint or bark to get any type of progression. I'll probably actually stash some of this. Um, let's see here. Drop you off. I think I can do with that yet. Put away the garlic leaves for now. The bull ant animals. Alright, so if I was looking for bark, I'm assuming we're going to have to find a tree or something that the bark is peeling on it. That log over there doesn't have any bark that we can see. That's where we spawned. Hmm. I'm cutting these because I have a feeling we're going to need way more of that hardened wood and everything, and the petals seem like they're going to be a valuable resource. They put them near enemies that actually defend them. All of these imply game mechanics for you want this. Try checking out the tree where we've been seeing those ants. We'll keep fighting our way up and see if we can't find bark. Nothing obvious up here. I was actually hoping there'd be more up here. Now, we see anything that looks like a pine tree or something like that. Um, in real life, those things, the bark comes off super easy. Are we cool? Well, 
vulnerable to pierce damage. Got lily pads down there. Some big tunnels down there. Do not see a particularly elegant way to reach it quite yet. Probably a ramp over here. with you sneaking up behind. Oh, inventory's full. That's not something I want. Um... Alright, let's see if we can actually kill... Ladybugs don't have a marked weakness. That's interesting. Oh yeah, you're faster than I could run by a large amount. You probably can kill him, but it probably takes a bit of... finagling to make happen. I have room for my... There's a big nest of carpenter ants. The bark looks different on that tree. I don't see obvious places to pull it off. But that's a little encouraging. I don't really want to fight all of them if I don't have to, though. I'm going to try and scooch... Look, man, I was trying to avoid murdering all of you, but... It's fine. We'll kill you. There's no, like, exposed, obvious bark that's peeling or something that we're seeing. Can you go in their hole? No. I think that's, like, their spawn point or something, is just those. That looks like bark up there. Sorry. Where did you go? Play with the spider. Spider, you get to live because I'm scared of you.
Trying to find my way up. To get out where I saw the bark peeling. Oh, we're almost back home. Okay. I was like, wait, this looks very familiar. So those carbon rants are just fighting is literally the first carbon rants we saw in the game. Not see there's the spot with the exposed bark right there. Um I don't think I can jump to there from here. It's a lie. It's all just a lie. Alright, well, that brings us back to where do I actually get bark from? Uh, fallen log is looking promising. Still a spider up there, and I don't like it. Jumping spider, I can't see. Did it say edge damage? You inside the antenna? Um, I wasn't able to go inside it. It was a solid thing. Yeah, I didn't see bark. There's not going to be bark inside a log. It's going to be outside the log. A sapling? Well, that requires flint hatchet. Are we cool? I know I'm not going to like this, but we're going to go pick a fight with one of these since we got by itself. Oh, you suck. Oh my goodness, you suck so bad. Where did all my life go? Not right now, ants. I'm busy. You're poisoned? Yeah. Alright, so let's uh let's pull up our map here and say 
Oh, did I really not mark my home? It's fine. We can find it. Would you go away? Stop breaking my clothes. Yeah, home's this way. Um, let's... Eat some chowder. The downside is most likely all the things have respawned over here. Which is going to be bad for us. There'll be a lot of bull ants now that I have to go through. You know, actually, let's not worry about that right now. Let's get home. Alright, yeah, and we're right around this corner. Home sweet. What? Where? Yep. We got a bunch more carbon grants over there. I'll have to check what it takes to repair our weapons and all that. Yeah, you can hear stuff moving inside, but if I try to actually go in, it's a solid wall. I think that's just like, at night, that's where the grasshoppers come out. It's just how they, they handle making it so stuff can spawn and it doesn't look weird with the player being able to watch kind of thing. Don't care about those. Alright, um, we'll start with this seed oil. Refined wood. We got eight of that. Um, repair. Uh, you need resin, and I have plenty of that stashed away here. Yep, I'm going to do that in just a moment. Repair. Alright, so we got to figure out where I find flint is one thing. Make some more chowder. And ant skewers. Alright, so let's see about marking home in the map. Oh! It's literally my spawn point. Never mind. Oh. I don't think we'll get bark from over by the bees. That's gonna be like honey or something. That dead that dead log we saw had a pretty good chance of being a source of bark. Um just because like you'd imagine a log that's rotting the bark would be peeling off. Those jumping spiders though were a real bad time. Hmm. Actually, what's that in the ground there? Maybe a birch tree? Yeah, I haven't seen a birch tree, but yeah, I would, like, if I did see a birch tree, I would immediately be like, oh yeah, you. Because birch trees are notorious for just peeling off, um, 
Spark. What about you, Driftwood? No? Okay, fair enough. I wonder if I should be moving my home to some place not immediately next to where I have bull ants and grasshoppers. Was that the main tree again? That is the main tree again. Ouch! Stop sneaking up on me. It's deeply upsetting. Being jump scared every time I go out. Hey, what's poppin'? Um, all right, so you're the not murder grasshopper. Okay. The upside of the location is you don't need to go for supplies. <laughs> go far for supplies and fights. Yeah. Not a whole lot. Getting jump scared continuously by uh, various bugs sneaking up on me. Don't you do it. Give chitin as well. well. That's convenient. Um. All right. Put one of the stacks of wood in here. Put some stone in there. Still need to find a slow, a source of bark and a source of flint. All right. Regular grasshoppers fine. All right, so let's not go towards the big tree. Let's go over this way. We're going to cross the dead log over there towards the beehive. Oh, we're not going to go to the beehive itself because I extremely doubt it's got anything I want. Does water kill you? No swimming? Yeah, there's no swimming. You just sink. I haven't done it yet, but the game pretty transparent. It's like, you can't swim. It's like, okay. They they were very front and center about your character cannot swim. Like, the imaginary species that is your character is incapable of it. One thing I will say that I'm not a huge fan of is the spawn points for everything are very static. Like, it's those ones where you can go, oh, what am I going to run into down here? Three, three bull ants and one of those um, Sawyer beetles. What am I going to run into there? Uh, five of those. I wish there was more variance to it. That it wasn't quite that predictable. Like, you'd have the area would have the ants in it but um there'd be some variation in those ants Ooh, rotting log rotting log is a promising place to uh to find bark there's some bees there i don't bees i don't want it all right so we got red flowers over there we haven't seen the red flowers i can think of yet yeah i'm gonna have to take the log
Alright, so log's solid inside. That's fine. Alright, so lots of bees in the area. And we did learn the bees will fight back if I get too close to them. Those look like strange raspberries. Raspberries grow in giant bushes. Here's Don't want you. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do it, bees. But there was a whole lot of you, and you're very angry. Yeah, good news is they're weak against Pierce, and they group up, so I was able to pierce them a whole lot. But they stood between me and strawberries. And that was not going to be permitted to stand. I mean, at least these strawberries are more realistic than uh, Sunhaven. Sunhaven where you get strawberries from a tree and you're like, but, but, it's not, it's not how strawberries work. Um, strawberries normally have, like, a big base. Not big, but, like, it's it's a squattier base, and the strawberry just kind of barely pokes it, like, the, uh, the stem that has it just kind of pokes out of. No, I want to mark... Spawn point, so I can keep it relative. More bees over there. Alright, Poppy. Alright, um... Oh, that doesn't give me much hunger, does it? Hey, hey, hey! Back off! It's mine! Let's see, something I don't have a lot of to eat. Insect stinger. So a whole lot of ant skewers. Um, get rid of the leg. I am struggling so hard with inventory. Um, we'll get rid of the pile of wood. We've got blackberries, we've got poppies. Nothing in here implies bark is an option though. So if I tried to rototill a patch of strawberries, get rid of them. Nope, they start growing back big time. Interesting. A lot of times strawberries actually are kind of hard to keep alive. Stuff like raspberries and blackberries are a god-awful nightmare to get rid of a lot of times.
All right. Um. Uh, okay, I don't know where they went, but sure. It's a root thing. Maybe it was that. Maybe. It could just be the particular type of strawberry or something's not one I'm familiar with. Because Florida, we actually go out of our way to grow strawberries. We have um, places where we grow a lot of onions and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very common strategy for where they grow strawberries that what they'll do is they'll um, sister crop them with onions. Like we got a place here called Plant City that's one of the biggest places for strawberries. I was really hoping I get bark out of you. definitely gonna need to make better armor later um so far we've only met the one person they were very much like you should meet all these people i'm like but hear me out stuff and then we immediately got distracted and stopped pursuing any of it ever And I don't know what we use nectar for, but I'm going to get a lot of nectar. Because we're here, it's not bolted down, and I have the means. Oh, Scotty is this way. Let's start walking towards Scotty if we're already down here. What are you? Honey crumble. Look. Hang on. You're not going to tempt me with honey crumble. You're playing dramatic music, but you know, I don't see why. I think it's glitched in the terrain. It sounds like it's an ant. Be cool, bees. I'm trying to deliberately avoid you. No one needs to die here today. Alright, so you're out this way. And then the game's all cute with the scary bugs. We just find Scotty and, you know, the bees have just annihilated them. Um, okay, it just sticks next to you. Right, 
You're almost straight this way from me. For a moment, I thought that was a torso and those were legs, and I got really scared. It's like, uh, big spider? Scotty, are you some kind of menace, man? Some creatures can be tamed using special treats. Be careful, though. They will only accept treats once they recognize you as their leader. So make sure to beat them into submission first. Once tamed, they will be a faithful companion. Some will follow you and protect you. Some will even allow you to mount them. You can heal a tamed creature with food. Interesting. Nice to meet you. The name is Scotty uh, Uxilm. I am a hunter by trade and a former vanguard sergeant. I've been sent to investigate reports of trouble with some of the creatures in the area. Uh, Ludwig mentioned he would be sending someone. What do you need? Can you make armor? Yes. They require bones, hide... Um... Yeah, so I need bones, hide, and stuff like that. All right. All right, can I just craft those back at home now? Let's see. Have you had any troubles lately? Uh, you could say that. I was out hunting near um, an overturned boat when I was attacked by an enraged rhino beetle. It's a dangerous threat and it needs to be dealt with before it kills someone. I would advise um, you be cautious and be well prepared for facing it. You should be able to feed it. Bring me its horn for examination. This will allow me... Alright, to understand its origins. Okay, so I'm assuming the horn beetle will be our first, like, boss battle. Alright, where does it say the horn beetle is? Or rhino beetle. Okay, let's make bad choices and go and deal with this. I'm amused at like all the palisades and he's got like all these like bones from larger creatures strewn about. Door locker first. I don't really want to build a second location. This is something I'm I'm notorious for in a lot of these, is I'll avoid building multiple bases unless the game really kind of forces it on me. Um, if the game does force it on me, I'll have one main base, and the other base will be as minimal as absolutely possible. I'm gonna go to find bones. Hey, hey. Yeah, probably, I probably should be making our base, so I'm trying to just figure out how I go down there. It might be able to just climb down there.
a green beetle. Roach meat. Excellent. Perfect. I want that to be part of my diet. Um, what the heck am I dropping? Resin. Done. Red jerky. Mmm. Roach jerky. So what are you gonna give me, Foxtail? Just fiber and seeds. Alright, fair enough. Oh, you big. You big. You real big. Uh, <laughs> you big. How big is a rhino beetle gonna be? Do I have a source of wood down here? I feel like I should build a base down here. Because, um, you big. I think we'll live right down here. I'm not immediately being assaulted by anything. There's a big spoopy cave that I probably should absolutely not go into. Uh, so that's that's encouraging. Yeah, we we make a home here. Foundations. Walls. Door frame. Door. We need way more stuff. Um, a bum. All right, so I need fiber. I've clicked out of the window. It's fine. The door is backwards. Oh yeah, one of the nice things they did about this is I can just go. Um, there we go. And you don't lose materials. That's it, I still need more materials. Hey, and then Baron, it's pretty good so far. It's like, it reminds me a lot of Valheim. Except, you know, boogies. Um, Valheim except a thousand times scarier because a beetle the size of a truck plows down on you. Come on, let me up. But yeah, for those who don't know Undead Bird, absolutely fantastic content creator, friend of the channel and all that. Oh, no, 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 friend. Friend, friend, friend. Oh, I have to actually equip the arrow. Alright, um, hang on, friend. I'm new to this. There we go. Oh, you do not do enough damage. Alright, so you're weak to blunt damage, but my blunt damage sucks. Okay, so you don't hurt that bad. 
you're not actually that scary. I mean, you're scary, but you're not actually that dangerous. But yeah, so I absolutely recommend Undead Baron. Ow! Never mind, I, re I retract everything. You are terrifying. Run away! Hope it doesn't know how to train. No! No! Ha! Ah, I'll use water. Is that flint? No, that is a dead something. And no sign of its killer. Oh, um, yeah. Absolutely recommend Bonded Baron. But yeah, no, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, one second. I've got a message I want to double check. Oh, okay. There's nothing I need to worry about right this moment. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, and get back to it. Is that Flint? I've been desperately seeking Flint. All right. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. Um, the comment I've been giving people, because you know, obviously everyone's you know, comparing it to Grounded, is where Grounded feels like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, this feels like Fern Gully. Except, you know, we're not trying to stop people from chopping down the woods. We're just... Alright, so... I also need bones. Oh, bark too? But I need a flint pickaxe for bark. Which I don't have. Alright, fair enough. So we know where I get flint and I get bark, because that's been the things that's been blocking me from progression. Oh, there we go, foxtail. I've been looking for that. Because I need more, uh... Plant fiber. Yeah, it has been really good so far. It... It feels like it wants to be an MMO while it's not. Like, there's no, there's no like, daily quest or something like that. Um, we've had to walk over and they'll be like, go do this thing. That kind of nonsense. Uh, so there is some overarching thing happening. But, um... It definitely has a lot more survival aspects, like cold and all that. Um, it's probably going to be absolutely ridiculous multiplayer. I was kind of surprised with everything going on on the uh, the Discord. We didn't end up with a whole bunch of people being like they're going to you know break into it today, but they might be waiting till later today as well. But you know, but I'm at blast with it. It's a really it's a really weird survival game. I think I've only died once so far. Um, got wrecked by a nocturnal grasshopper when I was in a bad way. So let's work on this. I feel like I should just make this like an actual second base where it's going to make it just like a little tiny low effort thing. All right. So let's do our door correctly this time. Come on. There we go. And... Yeah, I can see having a lot of fun with a group of people. I don't know what the limitations are the building construction is yet. I think it's like Valheim that you need support to build stuff. Oh, I didn't match my roof type. It's fine. Just don't look directly at it. It'll it'll only hurt a little on the inside. Um, so at least there's that going for us. Alright, so a simple bed. I need more wood.
Why are you calling things MMO tropes? I feel like the standard RPG of any survival game RPG. Um. I'm mostly saying it feels like an MMO, mostly because of the camera position, honestly, more than anything else, where we're closely following behind the character, um, and the fact they have a whole bunch of buttons on the bottom. Like, that's, don't get me wrong, that's in survival period, but, like, the third-person camera, you don't see that much in survival games. Not that you never see it. But, like, the third-person camera like this here, like, this feels like an MMO-style camera. No, I don't want to mess with you, Green Beetle. Oh, there is so much flint. We have been waiting on flint. Man, uh, it's not like we don't have these mechanics and survival games to be fair though when it comes like survival versus mmo games like survival games as we know them now kind of didn't enter the scene on a big level until well after mmos had already established when you're trying to think like going going back to um like before world of warcraft yeah, when I think RPG, I just, and this is probably aging myself, I think back more in, like, Final Fantasy, Secret of Mana, that kind of thing. Like the old JRPG style thing. My torch is badly damaged. Oh, no. Like, Chrono Trigger. Like, that's, that's where my mind goes to with RPG. Versus, like, action RPG, I think stuff like Diablo, even though that covers a very wide range, it's just kind of the most popular things in the genre. I don't hit the dragonfly. They've been cool so far, and I don't know how dangerous they are. Um... Then it says, I hate that Square Enix is no longer interested in turn-based um, Final Fantasy games. The newer ones just don't feel the same. Yeah. To be fair, that's the way I felt about um, a lot of Castlevania games for a while. Lizard? No, as a, as a big green beetle. Not unless I missed a lizard, which is... What, what do you want? Don't follow me. Um, Like, sorry, I got distracted by that. So, like, the turn-based... Uh, um, RPGs and all that. Yeah, not at a distance. I think it was a green beetle. But, um... What was it? Oh, is the, uh, the Castlevania and Metroid-style games that they started doing the 3D thing, which is fine, but it's just, it hits very different. Um, and I just, you know, I just, I would rather have the old ones. Which has worked out okay, because a lot of other games have, you know, stepped in where a lot of the companies were leaving that alone. Alright, so I need a workbench. So I need wood and resin. Because now I'm finding all this stuff, I am trying to get that going. So for the resin, we find that on the bases of trees. It's like everywhere we find trees. But I'm wondering if that's like the thing we won't find here. Because we don't know if this is going to follow the model of each biome has certain materials that are easy to get and ones that are very hard to get. No, 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 no. We could be friends. Then it says, I was kind of stoked for Final Fantasy 16 before I found it was going to be another action combat. Yeah, I don't I don't see Square Enix going back. Alright, this is not the place to get in a fight. This little ledge, I'm just gonna fall off and get hurt. Yeah, it's a good place to get resin down here. Which is gonna keep me from crafting our better weapons. Which is a big reason why I wanted to um build my base down here, is because there's all the flint. 
Um, and I want to be able to build the... Use, like, the flint to build the, um... Pickaxe for the bark. Do I go into the super spoopy cave? Feel like I shouldn't. We just have a water bug. I've already killed one of those. Alright, I think that's just a shortcut for me to be. We're not gonna push it right now because the boss, or what I'm assuming is a boss, is over here. Yeah, she will. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Alright, well. Put our stuff. Well, actually, let's set our spawn point. You saw, thought this isn't out? Yeah, but as a, uh, a streamer, I got an early key. Oh, that's annoying. So if you didn't see why why that's uh that's annoying, is it actually took stuff that was equipped and put in the box. So it's um not smart enough to differentiate stuff you've got equipped and not. Right, our torch broke. Not trying to drop everything, I'm trying to clean my inventory a little bit. Be slightly more manageable. So at least also, if I die, I don't have nearly as much on me. All right, because then I could take the time to build a whole series of boxes. Now I have to go right back up. But yeah, so no, it was on embargo until 6 p.m. my time today. They've only been able to stream it for about just shy of three hours. It's been available for us to stream. Like we had the keys beforehand, but we just weren't allowed to show it. All right, so let's make great choices that we have to fight. Hmm. You are going to be a bad time, aren't you? Oh, good. You're weak to pierce damage. All right. Okay. Oh, you do nothing. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, we are not ready for this fight. I don't even tickle it. Is the game fun? Yep, I had a good time so far. If you want to, you can play this co-op, right? Uh, co-op right now? Yes. Um, if there's others who got the keys early, then I'd be able to play co-op, yes. Um, I was actually surprised. There's a group of people that we were talking about it, but um, I didn't see anyone else who's like, oh yeah, we're ready, we're, like, we're down. Uh, I'm like, alright, well, I'm still going to play it. Alright, so I need to get the resin. I shouldn't need a lot of resin. I need to get some resin down here so I can build our crafting benches and all that. Because uh, then I'll be able to make our flint stuff. Those trees up there should give me resin. We're going to have to up tech to take on that beetle. Are we going to play grounded? Curious your opinion comparing the two. I've only played a tiny bit of Grounded. Um, the things I would say is this seems to be larger scale than Grounded in a lot of ways. Um, thematically, where Grounded is more like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, um, this is more like um, Pern Gully, so far as the world. Now, we're not fighting the giant, big, mean corporation that's trying to cut down trees or anything. At least, not that I'm aware of. Um, like, the aesthetic being like that. It also appears that there's a lot more enemy variety in this than Grounded had. From my understanding, there's only a handful of different types of enemies. Like, there's a bunch of different spiders. There's a couple different types of ants. 
Um, there was... What are they called? They're like soft shell beetles and all that. Um, like not, and this isn't to say grounded is bad or anything. But like, to give you an idea, grounded takes place in someone's yard. Rizus actually has like an area. This is more like a forest. There's a bull ant. And controls wise, this this plays a little like Dark Souls. I don't want to overstate it. It's not it's not quite as like dodge parry as Dark Souls, but like the whole you know, make your move, do your dodge, that kind of stuff. It feels like that, but not not as cutthroat as Dark Souls can be either. This is a resin we're after. I try and collect the whole stack if I can. I'm still surprised the ladybugs aren't super dangerous in this. Because in real life, ladybugs are actually, in the bug world, a very fearsome predator. Is there like a story and quest and stuff? Um, there is a story. I'm still very early on it. Uh, the story all I have is so far is that the queen is unwell. Um, and that the animals are being unusually aggressive. And then I'm supposed to be checking in with the others as to why that's going on. Um, and thus far, I have met with one of the other ones. But a big part of the reason I haven't seen more of the story is getting distracted building stuff and that let's see can you platform jump uh around on leaves uh some yes there's stuff that is solid and stuff that isn't solid like most of the stuff i found that you can harvest is not solid i believe these gave us wood right yeah Yeah, so like this, like we were sent over here to talk to um, the guy who lives here, that he's like some some creature tamer, so he has like tamed grasshoppers and such. Um, but he was complaining that like the animals have been getting a lot more aggressive, and that there's a horned beetle down here that was particularly dangerous. That you know he's like someone needs to get rid of it. It's gonna get get people killed. Hey, butterflies. I don't really need more food, so I'm not going to worry about cutting down all these mushrooms. It is kind of surprising how far you can travel, how fast you can travel. Like, even though you're just walking around, and the world is so gargantuan... Yeah, the controls feel good. It's W like regular WSD. Um, you have light and strong attack. You know, jump works about what you expect. You got control dodge. So controls feel fine. I don't, I don't have anything negative about to say them. They work pretty much how you would expect them. Like, I wouldn't say there are any, like, cutting-edge, exciting new variants, but... They also haven't left me going, man, these aren't 
what I want or anything like that. Alright, so our hatchet's about to break. Okay. God, it needs to be something good enough, but, um... But melee combat... Yeah. So it's taking a bit to adjust to melee combat. Um, some of the enemies figuring out the timing of when to do dodges is a little tricky. Like, for example, the bull ants I fought. Um, I find myself dodging way earlier than I expect to. But, um, it's not that, like, it visually doesn't line up. It's they kind of... It's not that they hesitate, but they, they take a minute before they actually fire off the attack. So they can throw you off. Alright, somewhere over here should be our home. Or is it down farther? It might be down farther, actually. Alright, there's a green beetle. I don't want to mess... No, 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 no it's fine. Is that a water beetle at my home? Also, having half the enemies be able to walk up walls to get away from you, it's not annoying, but it's just a different way of dealing with enemies. We would be in the middle of a fight an enemy and like back up onto a log and like, aw, come on, man. Get back down here. We got unfinished business. Alright, water beetle. That's not what you want. Oh, that's really not what you want. Um, hang on. One second. Uh, let's talk about this. Do you know how to walk in water? Good. Even though you're water beetles, you don't know how to go in water. Or you're just taking a different route. Oh, good. I think the dragonfly and the water beetle are going to fight it out. Alright, you have a good time, kids. I'm being here. Hiding from my... Hiding from my problems. Alright, so... Workbench. I haven't seen screws or bottle caps or any of that. Am I going to actually need the stone cutter down here? Let's hope not. Alright, um... Start with repair. Right, you need fiber. You need stone. And unfortunately, it does appear that I am going to need a bottle cap, a screw, and stone. That sucks, actually. Um, where did I put my hatchet? I'm currently holding it. Never mind. Oh, it's still the torch that I'm missing. Okay, that's fine. You barely took damage in that fight, so I'm leaving you alone. I just think the kids is looking great. Uh No 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 You're new 
And I don't have enough life to test out new things. Yeah, not, um, this feels more like Fern Gully. Just, just for comparisons, like, movies. There is a lizard. Yeah, someone had mentioned the lizard earlier, and I saw a beetle over there, and so I was like, no, that was a beetle. Yeah, no, there is a lizard over there. Looks like maybe some kind of skink or something. You know, I didn't see that. I saw the uh, the beetle over there earlier. Can I can I reach that? Oh, it's on their shore. Maybe a salamander. Maybe. I mean, that that looks more skink to me, but I don't know. I'm definitely not an expert. If Tomb was here, I'd ask her, and she'd be like, you know, she'd probably say the specific type of litters and go like, why would you both think that? I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's go check it out. I would if it wasn't already half dead. Because what I want to do is we got flint and bark here, which were materials I needed to upgrade my tools. Um, and I have that, but now the thing that's kind of holding me back is I don't have my crafting stuff down here for dealing with it. So now I'm kind of missing the easier to get, you know, the easier to get materials. So I've got to find those. This pet lizard couldn't backfire. I'm also noticing since that dragonfly got into a fight, it's staying on the ground, which is curious. Now, this would be where the uh, the beetle you killed was. Get some sleep. I, I should probably. I'm trying to stay close because I haven't been able to pick up the bark. I have to upgrade my pickaxe. So I'm trying to avoid the whole thing where, you know, you, uh, like you, sorry. I'm trying to avoid the thing where I run over, grab the one thing, run the whole way back, make the thing, then go back to where I just came from to get the next material to run back. Yeah. And it wouldn't be the end of the world if that's what I have to do. But I'm also trying to avoid it. What was making noise? What was making noise? Flint, water beetle, green beetle. Alright, so we only had one stone for rock nearby. Because that's the thing I'm working on now. Because I believe I make that stone thing that I'll have everything I need to upgrade my tools. That'd be in good shape. Alright, first of all, stop being lazy about this. There we go. Alright, I've upgraded all that. Alright, so the thing I need is this. So I need 10 stone, one bottle cap, and a screw. It was going to be more in depth than, uh, than grounded. I think so. Let's grab the flint. Um, it probably is one of these things where I should just run back. Because we're going to need a lot more materials. Um, which is a bummer, so let's grab what we can. Nectar is something we haven't found the use for. Insect eggs are the same. Honeycomb is the same. And bee heads. Alright, so we'll sleep into the morning. What I don't like...
Can your base get attacked and damaged? Yes. I think you have to aggro stuff for them to do it, though. Like, they won't just arbitrarily run into your stuff and break it. That's that's at least the way it seemed for me so far. Yes, yeah, so that's... So, your character does seem to have some ability to, like, parkour or climb stuff. Alright, let's just... If it aggroes, it aggroes. You don't worry about Green Beetle. Let's be cool, okay? Now, it seems like Product Zomboid, where the zombies won't just destroy stuff for the sake of destroying stuff. Um, Something has to make them, like, draw them at your building. And so far, the only thing I've seen them do that for is attempting to get the player. Alright, let's try and get up here. Let's not go that way. I don't want to deal with those bees. The bees didn't wind up being nearly as bad as I thought they were going to be. When I got swarmed the first, I was like, oh god. And then when I get on the fight, because they bunch up so much, you can just kind of AoE them down. Because they just all get hit when you swing. Alright. You know, I didn't check, actually. I was just thinking, I didn't check at the shore itself, because that's where we've been finding bottle caps and screws before. Before we run the whole way... Go away. Please leave me alone. Oh good, it didn't fall very far. Be cool, bees. I'm pretty sure this drops right down about where we live. Boss? Nah, it's a it's a bee. Ah. Oh nope, you're right. That is a wasp. It looked like the bees I saw before. Ooh. That's exciting. He says, I will say this game is cra um, better crafted realistic bugs. Yeah. Well, from what someone was saying before is that this actually began development well before um, Grounded did. It's just grounded, got to the finish line first. So I can make poison weapons? Let's see. Um, I had a paper wasp nest on the side of my house last summer. Oh, here in, uh, here in Florida we have... We have, like, very regularly... We end up with, um... Wasps. Okay, so I need a number of stingers in that. What? What? Could you not? Hey. What? What is? What is going on? Flying friend. Um, they haven't attacked us before, but I wouldn't call them friend. Okay, so hunting wasps might not be a bad idea for making all of those things happen. But the thing I need to do is I want to see if we can't find 
a screw and a bottle cap down on the beach. Because it just instinctively is like, oh, let's go back. And then it's kind of like, wait a second, actually. You can probably find all that stuff. Put that there. Put the beetle hearts here. Um, the poison gland. The mandibles. Open, let it in, repair the roof, then feed it. Um, I haven't found a way to directly feed it yet. We definitely can tame things. I just haven't figured out mechanically how that works. So that horn beetle over there is my objective. Um, we went to fight it, and it's like the damage it did to us. It's like, oh, that's not too bad. Um, and then I poked it and did, like, nothing. So, we opted to back away for the moment. Hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. I'm used to other games where I could just... Ow. We used to start games where you just like climb on a rock to like glitch out the AI and it's like, nah, we're bugs. Could you not? Yeah, let's go the other way. Yeah, no, it's been pretty fun. Just trying to find certain supplies. I noticed it didn't... I didn't instantly take damage from going deep in the water, so we're gonna feel it out a little bit more. But, um, they did definitely say you cannot swim. They were like, people of your entire species. Swimming is a big old nope. That's bark. I can't mine that until we, um... Get more stuff. I wonder what we're gonna get for abilities to move around the map more rapidly. Because I saw we can get ladybugs as a mount. I'm not going to worry about all the flint right now because I need to be finding our things. Okay. This will make a curious base. There's like Colosseum thing over there. A rotten log. Okay, so they're guarding a bunch of stone there. Yeah, you got mangroves as well. I was talking about, like, way out there, you can see the silhouette of what looks like a coliseum. So it looks like whatever those lizards are, there are guarding stone in the area, which is one of the materials I need. Um, I'm not as worried about that one. I need to find a screw and a bottle cap, and both of those I found along the rivers, well, the most microscopic streams ever. 
uh, back the way we came, but I'm trying to not have to backtrack that far if I can help it. I just want to do like the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth thing. If I had more efficient travel than walking the whole way, um, I would, but I don't. Some weird stumps over there. Yeah, like right there. There's some like, and they're up there too. It's like enemies are color code. Yeah, they've been giving them mostly bright colors, um, with the exception of the nocturnal ones. The nocturnal ones are almost all black. Um, the other thing I've noticed is they will make them have like. In the dark, you'll see their eyes like glow green or whatever. So I'm getting this bad feeling that I'm going to have to backtrack, and I'm really not excited about it. Well, that's a different type of dragonfly over there. Oh, there's a bottle. Where you have a bottle, you probably have a bottle cap. Do I have free inventory space? Yes, I do. Uh, meanwhile, let's get food on my bar. Uh... Do I have more prepared stuff? That's fine. Are you on my bar? That should be good enough. You feel dangerous. Bottle cap achieved. Now I just need a screw. After that, I just need stone, and stone isn't as hard to come by. This feels like we're getting back to the biome we started in. Yeah, no, no, buddy. Be cool about this, okay? Alright. 
Who? What are you? You're new. Um. Hi. Nope. 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 Let's be friends. Let me climb. Stop shoving me with your mass. Oh, it's not looking like there's much up here. I wonder, like, the amount of effort it took to do the world building here. Like, the, the actual making of the world. Aesthetically. Because, um, there's a lot going on in this map. Alright, yeah, this area is definitely a nothing burger. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I thought I shorted the jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Goodbye stuff. Not getting that back. Yep, gone. <laughs> yeah, um... Alright. And we... Hey! It is a bummer that, like, other than what is quote-unquote equipped, not even what's on our bar, what's actually equipped, everything's gone. Because it means I lost all of my tools and everything. Does it put along the shore? We're gonna find out, because, um, if it does just straight up get rid of it, that is a real big negative in my book. It's, um, it's a mechanic that I'm tired of games having. Oh, that's not how you... Like, don't get me wrong, there's some games that make sense. I'm not saying this isn't one of them. But, it could be just a really big... Because I've lost all of my tools. Which means I effectively have to start over. So if I'm in this area and I can't recover my body, I physically have to go all the way back to... All the way back to the first biome. And begin collecting from scratch. There might be a setting, though, to disable that, though. If, if it is a thing that you drop your stuff and it's gone. Like, dropping random stuff like... Hey, stop it. Yeah, dropping, like, random stuff like... All, like, your fiber and wood and, like, the not-yet-craft stuff. I'm cool with that. Like, I don't want death to not be punishing. But, like... Dropping your equipment. Like, a, this is a perfect example, like, Valheim. So, if you did get to, like, late game and you've got all, like, your best equipment and you start, like, moving stuff by boat and your boat sank. So you've literally lost it. It's gone. Um, and you lost, like, your different tiers of tools or something. Which, granted, you don't do it. That's the reason why it's not that big of a problem. You'd literally be going, oh, time to restart the game, because... 
Like, I've lost everything. I do sort of wish there was some RPG elements around your how much damage you do or how long you can run, like... Yeah. At least Valheim has floating graves? Yes. And so far, we've not seen a means of doing boat travel. I don't think there will be with the way that water's presenting. Um, if you put a boat on that water, it would probably look really bad because of how choppy it would be. Alright, so it is this way. I was trying to check if it was that shore or this shore. Okay. Get by the green bug. Okay. Yeah, the one the one I've liked when it comes to dropping stuff that they're gonna have them as a mechanic. Um, your clothing and armor you keep. Um, you keep your tools and weapons and that kind of stuff. But um, the stuff you drop is just your generic, like your your sticks, your stones. Stuff that you haven't crafted or done anything with. Alright. Okay, well the gray marker is not in the water. Um, that's the good news. It is up on a very sketchy spot of that tree branch, though. <laughs> but it should be fully recoverable. That's good news. Um, alright, so... I don't remember where... Oh, yeah. We were still looking for a screw. That's right. Which is the whole reason I was trying to get to the other shore. Because we definitely did not see a screw over here anywhere. But we did find a bottle cap, and they showed up in kind of the same place as earlier. Alright, so you can go a little bit in the water. Not a lot, but alright. You seem hostile. You seem very hostile. Could, could you not? Could you maybe not? Ow. I'm just gonna hang tight for a minute while everything warms up. It lines up. Um, so one thing we're gonna check. Yes, yeah, so the game still runs with all this stuff. Now you'll notice I don't really have any game setting choices here. So to sleep, I have to build all the stuff, and I don't really have a place to build stuff. It's back there. But I was thinking. As I'm not sure if it saves here, but I want to quickly go back to the menu and just see what it says if I were to, like, I'm not going to actually create a new game. Um, if I were to make a new, a new world. So you can have peace of world and creatures won't attack you. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it looks like these might be my only settings um, that we have. Yeah, those are the only settings we have. Um... All right, so we select our character. Yeah, seeing uh, seeing if you had more world settings. Um, if there is, okay, well, clearly we can ride the lizards, because look at that. Um, if there's more world settings, we're blissfully unaware. I just realized what time it is. 
Um, bear with me for a minute, chat, because what I'm going to go ahead and do here for just a second is I need to run downstairs, quickly get some food brought up here. Um, I do stream for 11 hours a day, so at some point I got to eat. Uh, so bear with me. Let me also check the AC because I'm slowly dying in this room. Um, let me check because I'm going to get words on stream. I'll deal with this in a minute. We get words on stream going for just a couple minutes. That way I can... Yeah, that way I can, um, sorry, I'm being distracted by about six things. Then I can welcome my wife home, uh, grab myself some food. It's just going to be like a charcuterie thing that I'm just tossing on a plate. So it's like, it's already ready. I just had to put it on a plate. Uh, so it's only be a couple minutes. Um, so in the meantime, wait a second, where am I? Do I have my stuff? Ah, interesting. Unintentional cheesy mechanics. Okay, so you save worldwise at your bed. So... Speedrun strats, if you want to speedrun the game, uh, the thing you would do is get the thing you want and then immediately just log out, log back in. <laughs> that way you spawn back at your bed and don't have to run. I'm not going to abuse that, but it's good to know that, though. That also means if people got disconnected, that's more than likely what would happen, is you wouldn't, you wouldn't hang out where your buddy got disconnected. You would want to return to base. All right, so bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and get words on stream going. We get some music going. Um, and thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, donors, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have been enjoying the stream so far. Um, I will be back in just a couple minutes once I go and, you know, welcome my wife home and grab lunch. I'm surprised he hasn't already gone up here with the food because, yeah. For those who don't know words on stream, you type word in chat, it gets accepted. The big thing, a lot of people... It's overlapping music. The big thing a lot of people will miss about it is if you try to correctly guess a word twice, um, back to back, it won't go. You have to wait until that middle bar goes to the next lock after you've guessed correctly before you're allowed to guess correctly again. All right. Well, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. And thank you again for tuning in.
Okay, and I did see that game game over, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get us back to the game. Um, I guess. I mean, it's surprising for as many people as we have in that, it doesn't seem like hardly anyone was participating. And I did also see that I was attacked. Oh no, it reset my spawn point. This is a full release game, right? Like, is this still early access? Ah, that's a bummer. Let me see if the others have they did anything. Yeah, no, I was um Alright. Stream says early access. Yeah, it feels early access. It's fine. It just sucks because that means I need to run back to Oh I don't need to run back to here, I need to run the whole way back down there. I got mauled many times. Yeah. That's actually really disappointing that it teleported me the whole way back. I'm assuming what happened was it destroyed my bed, is what I'm guessing happened. And therefore, my spawn point got got deleted. Um, so yeah, also when you hit escape, it doesn't pause the game, even if you're playing solo. Uh, that's actually a really big negative in my book, like really, really, really big negative in my book. Uh, single player games that don't pause. Because it means if you have to use the restroom, too expletive bad. Um, you know, someone rings a doorbell, too expletive bad. So that's that's kind of a real bummer. And then on top of that, um, the whole everything but my spear went away because my spear is equipped. So I had just what's my equipment is all I got to keep. That's honestly really disappointing. I'm curious. I'm just going to check something unrelated to all of this. Give me a moment. I'll check one thing real fast. Really, game? Yeah, no, single player, like, that's... That's the thing, when I went to load up the game, it's like, ah, this is very much meant for multiplayer. Um, so the thing I want to do real fast is I'm going to click to menu again. Um, because I'm already pretty messed up at this point. Um, I want to see if I create a new world. If there were more settings that we overlooked. I don't think there were. They're not. Alright, so that would be... That'd be my first big negative I'd say about this game is you have a game that can be played single player. And I'm going to go back to our old word world. You have a game that can be played single player, um, but you can't pause. Not an option. That is, that is really big negative in my book. Really, 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 really big negative. Cannot overstate it. Um, you don't have any settings related to stuff like do you or do you not drop your items when you die? You do not have settings related to okay, um like you get you get where this is going. It's it's really bad from a number of perspectives. Cause like we can talk about like access Yeah, so you lose health due to a variety of factors, being attacked by hostiles, yeah, that's fine. Sprinting, sliding, jumping, yep. I'll use stamina. But yeah, so... It's one of those things that you can't have any kind of a life around the game. That the only safe thing to do is anytime you're going to have a disruption, is to close the game entirely. Which of course... Reset you back to your bed, which means if you're trying to travel a long distance and someone rings the doorbell, you have to just make that decision. Okay, do I risk my character dying or that? Um, I had it untoggled. So we are, we are not an online world at the moment. I can turn an online world on and that allows people to join my world. Alright, so let's see if her body's still there. Okay, so at least 
if I leave my body remains. Well... Let's run down here, where our first home is, make ourselves some food, and then run down to where our second home is. That actually might not be that bad, because I can grab the, um, the bolt I need and all that from here. And move supplies. Let's mark it on our map if I don't have it. Now, downside. I have to deal with those carpenter ants. Well, not the carpenter ants. I have to deal with the nocturnal grasshopper again. Alright. What do we got here? I probably have more food in here. Alright, so grab the bolts. I need those. We'll grab the bottle. Oh, we'll leave. No, grab the bottle caps. We'll grab the mandibles. I don't think I'm going to need any of these things. But for the time being, we're going to grab them because they have the inventory space. That'll give me a spare hatchet because I just happen to be sitting on one. And I got a bunch of this other stuff. Um, now, the downside is that wasn't enough food to properly satiate us. What I'm try doing is right up here. We got a bunch of edible mushrooms. We'll cook those up, get ourselves fed, get our life topped off. Yeah, because at least if we had multiplayer, for example, and one of us died, the other person can potentially retrieve the important gear, or, you know, they can kind of hold down the fort until you get back kind of thing, exactly like Valheim goes. But, um, you know, the fact that you play solo and, you know, you're kind of just SOL, like, it wouldn't be a problem if we could travel much faster, for the record. Like, if I can climb something high and glide so that you can, like, set up your base at a very high point on the map to travel real fast, I think that would be good. Now, granted, of course, that means people would use that to skip entire areas and yada yada yada, which is the reason they probably don't have it. But, you know... Take dragonflies mount. Yeah, that's what it probably is. But um, at the point we haven't been given the information on how to tame things. Hey, no, 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 no. I knew I should have waited. Um, let's see. 
I thought it told you you had to beat them up and then feed them something. It looks like the stag beetle quest giver is how was taming a grasshopper and get some info. That's what I'm thinking. Is I think we kill that and then it gives us the info. That was me being impatient, by the way, that got me killed, as I didn't want to wait the whole time for my health to slowly regen. Um, and I thought I could get away with just, like, running past and climbing the log, but I snagged on terrain a little bit. Let's see, there should be another one over there. I don't know where they went. Oh, stop it. I didn't need to eat that. It's fine. It's too late. It's already in her mouth. All right. Yeah, now it's, um... It's those things that can happen in early access that maybe or maybe not will be good about explaining it, or maybe or maybe not they intended to be a mechanic you learn. Which if it is intended to be a mechanic you learn, it's weird that they would tell you you can do it, and then be like, figure it out. Like, give the very, the very basics of it, and then just leave alone. Alright, yeah, last time I had to climb down here on the log. Um, I also don't appreciate that when you pull up any kind of menu, it doesn't pause the game. We understand a lot of games do that. But it can be just kind of an annoying thing, because then you take deaths and run into problems that are more dealing with juggling around the menu than they have to do with like actual combat or anything like that. Yeah, so I'd still say overall my experience has been positive with this game, but I would say those are some pretty glaring things that it's very clearly meant for you to play it like an online server kind of situation. Um, and then even when you're playing solo, it still operates like an online server type situation. When I get down here this time, though, I should have most, if not everything, I need to get my flint equipment. And I did deliberately leave behind my other workbenches just in case, like, we get down here and suddenly we realize, like, the building's just gone and I can't rebuild. Um, I didn't want to tear everything down. I had that problem. This also is a game that definitely has the world and the character save as separate things, which honestly is not a bad thing in my book. Um, Project Zomboid does that. There's a lot of games that do that. Um, and, like, the negative artifact of that is sometimes you run to weird situations where, like, I set down an item in the world. And... You know, my character saves the item gone before the world saves that it's there. You can add, like, those weird kind of save desync issues. But, um, by and large... Would you... Go away. Yeah, Valheim has local and cloud save. Yeah. And that, that they do as well here is, um... Your character is saved separately from your world, kind of like Terraria is. So, like, if you have a character you've been doing stuff with, um, you can take into someone else's world to, like, give them a hand or whatever. Um, I'm fine with that. It feels weird that you have that in a game that your character doesn't have 
like skill levels or anything like that to them. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it depends on how interesting the itemization gets in the game. Now, like this, this one I'm not going to be switching on to Marvel's Unstream, by the way. Especially now that we've confirmed that the game does not pause when we go into menus and escape and all that. Um, because it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. You're like, I'm just going to have to deal with it anyways. So I do apologize about that. It's unfortunately the name. It's one of the things that runs happens a lot when we play um, multiplayer games. It's because, you know... I'm not going to ask the other people I'm playing with to stop everything they're doing every time we hit an ad break. That. In those style of games, you just kind of keep going. Uh, Farnie says, I meant max, max max in my magic in Valheim. Kind of cheesy, but 90 elemental, 85 blood magic is kind of nice. Yeah. Well, don't get me wrong, but that's kind of part of the fun of those style of games is getting more and more powerful. Like, having that feeling of progression that your character isn't it wasn't terrible at everything forever. Okay. My house should be down there somewhere. I don't see it, but it could be just the angle. I do appreciate the game seems to be pretty sparing about letting you fall down stuff and not killing you instantly in that. Trying to avoid that water beetle. Let's see what kind of damage the building took. My assumption is, yeah, they busted out a whole wall and then killed me. Alright, wait on actually engaging it. Because I fell and took a lot of damage. Do not. Um, let's see. We would have an arena night where we would beat the crap out of each other PvP, and stats just tanked. Yeah. Yeah, so it literally just destroyed the whole middle of my building. Because I just stood, like, because I, I thought hitting escape the game would pause. I can't remember, does Valheim pause when you're playing solo, by the way? Does Valheim pause when you hit escape when you're playing by yourself, no multiplayer world? Or is there at least a pause option? Okay, so it does appear when stuff gets destroyed, the materials are lost forever. Um, so that is a thing. So there's our hatchet.
That's interesting. Nothing else is damaged. All right. Um, so I do want the manual pick. We could probably not worry about those for just a minute. All right. So the things I need is the flint pickaxe. Our inventories are full. The flint pickaxe. Uh, I need the fiber. Grab me the fiber. Yeah, the stone for now. That requires refined wood. We'll make the flint hatchet, the flint spear. And now we'll need more flint. Um and make it our chest. Can't tell which way's which. Yeah, and that's the reason I didn't respawn here, is they destroyed my bed when they attacked. Um, alright. Drop that off. Weirdly, a bunch of stuff didn't stack, I don't know why. Drop those off. So there's the flint. Pickaxe. Where's my other one? There's the flint hatchet, so I'll drop that. And there's the crude hatchet, so I'll drop that. Put the flint one. There's the flint spear. Where's my regular spear? Um, and stack the garlic leaf and the petals. I don't know why a bunch of this stuff it didn't stack. I I want there to be a sort slash whatever. And drop off the nectar. Ah, uh, that's why. I see what happened. Um, so now I should have the spare spear sitting here. Yeah, stone spear we can put away for the time being. Um, ba -ba -bum. There's the manual pickaxe. Let's see, escape pause the game, but the build menu and change it. Gotcha. I thought there was a way to spot pause um, Valheim. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a huge deal long term, but they're gonna, like, short term, but that's something I would absolutely want them to change about this game is to make it so you can actually pause it all right so we got the spear axe hammer um there's the club which i'm probably not going to use at all i mean actually let's just get rid of the club because at this point my spear is doing so much more damage even if they have a weakness to blunt it's still better for me not to i don't have a need for the insect egg yet put away the strawberry for right now put away the honeycomb for right now put away the petals for right now with the uh, Titan for right now. Play the Insect Fur for right now. Alright, so what else do we have here that we would want? I have Flint Hatchet. Um, if I want a Flint sh uh, Sword, I would need that. Uh, to make an effective and durable cutting tools used for cutting spider cocoons open. Well, that's already deeply upsetting. Uh, just reading the words spider cocoon already makes me hate everything about what I just read. Um, oh, here. Bandages. Make a bunch of them. Oh, and repair.
not a fan of spiders. I'm fine with them. Like, I'm not arachnophobic or anything like that or whatever. Um, but spiders are a dangerous predator, you know, when you're, like, the size or whatever. So the idea about having to go into their nests, well, their webs, and then collect stuff out of it, not a, not a big fan of that. All right. So you can get the poison stuff, which could be a lot of fun. Ooh, actually... That poison mace is looking great. So that's 10 to 16 pierce damage, 10 to 16 blunt damage, and poison damage on top of that. Um, so it's slightly less damage on the pierce side as my flint um, spear, but better in every other way. So yeah. So that's going to be 5 poison gland and 10 stingers, um, and a bunch of bark and stuff. All right. Now the good news is all those things I need, the bark and everything, are right here. Okay. I can also absolutely see this game being one of those things where um you would have you could either have it where you have like your big group moves around, or I could also see having if you have like a large number of players going on. I have no idea what the limits are for this game, by the way. Like if it's a game you can have only four people on, or you can have like fifty, I have no idea. It feels like games that'd be a larger number. Um But I could see you potentially having like groups of people who you have the one group of people who like bases in like the beginning area and kind of you know make sure everything's supplied and all that um and you have like a couple groups that would go to different biomes that they kind of make bases of operations there that one can work from and share all right so we're restocking our flint it's very surprising that we actually ran out Um, and I also want the bark. One thing we are going to find out is how dangerous you are. I'm assuming you're my sources for bones. You're a gecko. That's a tame on it. I got the achievement vertebrae hunter. So geckos are a bit, a bit rough. But imagine we get more equipment and they won't be so bad. I guess all the fiber we can possibly need. Alright, we can make fancier homes. So just seeing it endlessly tells about the fancier homes. Well, at least we know they got build options. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. <laughs> The reason I won it was I believe it was the Apothecary I required it for. Um, the bark that is.
And I need bones for the better armor. That was um the guy up top of where we're at now. I needed bones and I needed I think it's some kind of leather or hide. Yeah, I notice I get a I get a green highlight on the right that says something about being tameable. Okay. Um, but the problem is being stuck in the middle of the fight and it not being particularly called out. Um, it's kinda hard to make out what it's trying to tell me in the moment. I think it is taming tameable, but I don't know if like I have to quickly switch to food and then give it food or whatever. Cause I would have expected it for taming it for it to have slowed down for a little bit. Alright, Sorrel, what does Sorrel give us? Sorrel broth in the cauldron. Okay. I wonder if we'll get some equivalent to, like, teleporters or something. Like, the ways I can see it working is either A, they give us an equivalent to teleporters, or B, they give us flight. There's a really good chance flight would be the way they'd go with it, because, you know, you can make it so I could ride a dragonfly really fast, or a bee or something, and that'd probably be more than, more than adequate. Clear for a second. Alright, so let's inventory check. Um, ah, so I only got three bones. Yeah, so that's the hide. So yeah, it's I have to um, I have to kill the lizards, the geckos, to get what I need for the better armor. I do wonder if for long-term living without dealing with the hassles of being attacked all the time, if um, the answer is you tame an animal that you keep nearby that's stronger than the local population. And it kind of operates as your, uh, as your deterrent by killing anything that spawns nearby. Okay. We got, so the flint shears will be for the cocoons. I probably should make those. Um, we have the flint sword, which gives really high edge damage. Um, but it's not a tool I need right now, so worry about that in a minute. Um, if I go here... I need the pocket theory, so I need one refined wood and some stone. And both of them require refined wood. There's stone. I don't need this stuff right now. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I need to find. Oh, jeez. I'm so tired of getting jump scared by bucks. Can't remember, did you give seeds or not? You do. Not a lot, but some. So, 
I assume for taming things, I'm going to need a decent supply of whatever that thing eats. Because I have noticed there's a lot of food that mentions being able to feed it to stuff. Let's check our controls for just a second. Um, input. Toggle crafting construction. Chat. Um... Maybe while I'm fighting something, I'll try hitting F when it gets low. Because uh, that's interact, and see if it triggers it to start the taming process or something. I'm curious how mechanically taming works in this. If I have to keep, like, dodging the thing attacking me. Um, until it just, you know, a bar fills up or whatever. Or, you know, if I feed it once it's low, it just instantly tames. We'll have to figure that out. Alright, so I also need stones. So let's go over here, because I did see stone over here. Alright. Another thing to get stone over there. And I'm deliberately collecting a whole bunch of seeds for um making refined wood. Gonna get some stone, kill more geckos. Um, once I get my replacement armor for the better armor, we might take another shot at the, um, at the horn beetle. It does make me wonder how much better the, um, the bark house stuff is compared to the rest. Blunt. Give me materials I've just already been finding just a little bit better quantity. With a better spear I can get by. The other thing I want to farm for is going up to where the wasps are and getting that mace. I think we have, um, get back to the house, build the cauldron, get some food prepped. Keep going from there. I suspect what's going to happen is once we kill the, uh, the big horn beetle, it'll drop something special for us to make, you know better armor or a better tool of some kind that'll help with our progression. I also think I'm finding that for base building, looking for big flat spots is probably not the win because they tend to be putting enemies in those spots. 
it might be a better move for me to find like rocks or something to put my bases on top of just so I don't have to deal with enemies spawning in. Alright, um, so we have nothing down there we care about. I need to do this. Let's make one stone brick. I can't, my inventory is full. I was going to make the brick just in case building the brick would open up a bunch of recipes. Um, Alright, so six. So we can make both the apothecary and we can make the tannery. And we can make the cauldron. Can't tell what you're colliding with. So I need a bigger room is what I need. Uh, building. What walls do we want? We can do curved walls, twigs and leaves. Where's the regular wood walls? Where's this regular wood wall? There you are. That. Oh, that's one at the window. Um, all right. Let's see, where is just the regular flat? Now it really feels like Valheim. All I'm missing is the, uh... Is the need to deal with ventilation. Alright, so now I got that. Let's get the tannery built. Okay, so now I have a loom, so that's going to be spiders I'm going to have to go after to make the loom happen. Um, we got the workbench, we got this, so we're missing the cauldron, which requires some refined wood. I don't have a bed, so let's build that. What is the thing in Valheim? Yes, it is. Yeah, you actually have to build most of your base around managing it, too. Alright, so I need silk for that one. Um, before we go too far, so what the tannery got... Um... Okay, so I have to convert hide into leather. Simple enough. It's a one-to-one, -one, which is excellent. We have that. So poison resistance brew. Alright, so we need seed oil to do all this stuff. We can heal health, stamina. Alright. You know, let's put a bunch of the plant fiber there. We're in really good shape plant fiber. I do not need more plant fiber for the moment. Um, let's repair our tools. What's your deal? You need refined wood. 
Um, we have wood. Oh, I just need to actually make refined wood. That's enough. I'm curious, though. So, we can make brick. Making a bunch of it to see if I need, like, a decent amount. So we can make a bunch of brick. Not nah, didn't give me any recipes. That's fine. Um, alright. Now I should be able to repair this. Alright, so the next move is going to be to either make our way back up to, um... How far is that guy? Just up the hill. Make our way back up to him and see what our actual requirements are to make our better armor. And then collect it. I'm sure I'm going to need to kill more geckos. Like, a lot more geckos. But that's fine. Because I can also go up here and we can fight some bees. I did see that the mace requires, I think it was 10 stingers, and I have one and it requires five poison glands, of which I have one. Are you aggro to me or just wandering? You're just wandering. Okay, that's fine. Um, alright. Hey. Wasp, be whatever you're supposed to be. Aggro plus. Okay, so that's interesting. So there is wasp and bees. So I got a stinger. I did not get a poison gland. But he only got one stinger. Like I think the queen bee gave it to me, but none of the others. Just curious. I do wonder if our poison glands, bees, or wasps. So the one I did get with was from a wasp. Let's mark it. I keep, I keep forgetting I can just mark as many things as I want in the map. the resin while we're up here because I don't have it down below. Alright, so what are your costs for your equipment? Alright, so we have Primal Cowls, so 9 Cold Protection, 2 Regular Protection, Blunt Resistant, but they slow me down. And they have Chitlin. Uh, Chitlin is less Cold Protection, more Regular Protection. Um, so both of these are going to penalize my movement speed. Um, so the, the Chitlin, the Chitin, I keep calling it Chitlin, Chitin Armor is higher defense. The primal's more environmental. Oh, you only require hides, not leather. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. This one's good for blunt, and that one's good for edge. Alright, so I would need four, eight, um, fourteen... 
So I'd either need 18 hide or 8, 16, 32, 40 chitin. I don't know which one I'd want more. I feel like the prime will be less of a hassle to deal with. Even though it requires a wider range of enemies to kill. Oh no, that doesn't. They both require the fur. Alright, that's fine. I think I might go for the primal. I just realized... I did not set my spawn point, nor did I mark it. So... I think we chill until it's a little bit brighter. Um, do I have food on me? Yeah, I got berries. I was hoping I could damage it to see the prompt, because it seems to be stuck in there. Alright. I do appreciate this game isn't like, you need to sleep. I think of where I can move this microphone to have it out of my way. Really can't. Is there a is a sit command? I don't believe so. The good news is it doesn't appear they have a chat. Nope, oh, wait, I take that back. Yes, they do. How do I how do I words? Because it's not just hit enter. I did something. Ah, oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they have anything like that. But yeah, again, solo game. Not not playing with others. Like, I don't mind there being a chat thing that carries over when you're playing a solo game, because a lot of times it'll be commands. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it had any type of thing like that. But usually it's, um, a lot of these it's, a uh, backslash. Chat to self. Yep. Yeah, so it's very, very clear that the intention is for this to be played multiplayer. Like, it's been designed through and through for multiplayer. That they just kind of bolted on a solo mode. That the solo mode is basically multiplayer, but without other people. Do I really need to craft another torch? Do I actually have a torch on me? Wood. It was kind of a little bit of annoying that I have to kind of sit here and wait for it to brighten up. But that's nothing new. That's true of almost all survival games, honestly. I suddenly was being paranoid thinking I was set up on the wrong mic and everyone was having problems hearing me, but we're good. All right. Come on. Which way are you moving, Moon? I'm trying to brighten up a little bit. Oh, I can get wood from these. The 
see something up the way, and I can't tell what bug it is. Oh, I think it's a water beetle. Oh, it's a nocturnal ladybug. Which I stabbed in the face and killed instantly. One man spam mode, more likely. That's what you do. You play you play a game like this completely solo, but you macro all your moves. So I run up and I switch to my spear. You know, you just type in a chat, you know, beware my pokey stick. But you're playing by yourself. We're not talking on stream or anything. Like, you literally just do that. That way you can have, like, the full experience of playing an MMO that supports that. Uh, where you spam people and make it uncomfortable and annoying. Uh, with no one there to be dealing with it, but you. Um, alright. We'll drop the ant head. Because it's sun up. Time to go home. Weirdly, I can't tell if we're getting stronger because I'm noticing I'm two-tapping those. And even though I did increase my weapon, I still three-tapping quite a bit of them. Sunrise to the south. Uh, yep, I guess so. What you don't realize is in the, um, whatever we are, small people culture, um, that they just have their north, south, east, and west. They're just different. Because uh, they never interacted with human beings, so they just have completely different, you know, cardinal directions than we do. Now, they did end up getting north, south, east, and west, still, which is just an interesting phenomena, but obviously I'm making all this up, if it wasn't clear. Ah, I like our half grass, half wood house. It really, it really feels like it's well, well thought out. It's canon out? Yeah, I agree. 100% canon. That the, uh, the little people, whatever, the, whatever they're called, I keep forgetting, they're like smallions or something like that. That, uh, canonically... They just had their own version of the Cardinal Directions. That's completely different. Alright, before we forget, that is home. Um, what the heck? Alright, so we need not the leather, we need the hides. So I do not want to make those into leather. Over the time being, we're going to take that leather. No, I'm not. My inventory is full here. There we go. Take the leather, we're going to put it aside. Because that's useless to us. We want the hides. Let's go murder some geckos. Who says this is on Earth? I don't think we ever implied it was on Earth. Um, I thought it was more than sixteen hides. The forty, the forty. Um, Titan sounds about right, though. I wish I could store... Actually, we might be able to. Awesome. Um, so, 4, 10, 14, 18. 18 hides. So you're close. You're off by 2. Stop looming over me.
It said tame and it said no something. I think it's like no bait, no whatever. Alright, so that's gonna be no surprise, but we get only one hide per lizard. No one would have expected that. Wait. Okay, that's fine. Bandages are not really that good, gonna be honest. They work, but they're only okay. No, that one gave me two. Let's put so, at three. All right. We'll go around this way that we can see better. Yeah, it says, tameable, no treat. So my assumption being, we don't have what it wants. There's a certain humorous thought about so let's say we decide we wanted to quarry up some stone to build like a proper stone castle. With the size of our character, quarrying up some stone would be taking like one large-ish size rock. Like this would be bigger than like most quarries we have in real life compared to our character. And that's just like one rock. So you can imagine building like a giant castle would be just finding one big rock and mining it. Huge home. Yep. That's not what you want. Okay, can move and bandage. I'm trying to bait out the attack. Basically figure out the timing where I can get away with a hit without taking a hit. That's fine. Blem? I gotta watch out for Blem. Alright, so we're at six hides. And I need 18. 
Unless they're not stacking the way I think they are. Not. That's I need 18. Um, I'm getting quite a few bones though. Like the bones are doing really well. It makes me think of the uh, classic RPG trope, where you're like, ah, you have, you have killed the basilisk with its rows and rows of razor sharp teeth, and you get your one chipped tooth. Just the one. All the others were gone. Just the one. Or like the uh, the two headed hydra or three headed hydra, you kill it and you get one he hydra head, and you're like, but what happened to the other two? I will say, the map is gorgeous. But then you get the wolf and you get three eyes you don't need. Yup. I see you've MMO'd before. Or I mean RPG in general, actually. Ooh. Use a big B. Oh, Ladybug. I thought the Ladybug fell from the bee and I got really confused. I'm like, wait, what am I watching here? What, what did the bee just drop? Alright, so he killed the lizards over there. Ah, uh, looks like we might have to drop here. We so killed the lizards over there for the time being. We're kind of waiting for them to respawn. I felt a little bit nervous about that fall. But it's fine. Um, so I might go and poke the bees for a minute. It dropped the hammer. Oh. When you said it dropped the hammer, I'm like, what? I didn't drop the hammer. My hammer's still here. Bugs like help, I'm stuck in the terrain. He said the lady bug is banned. Yeah, Dragonfly, you kill it. So it seems like what I'm going to have to do is figure out what to make as a treat. The kind of thing we're dealing with. Um, so next thing I could do is, what do I need for the cauldron? Stone. That's right. And I didn't see any while we were out, but I wasn't looking very carefully. Keep one stack of refined wood. A blowgun? Um. Okay. Right. Because that's where we had the, um. The poison stuff as well. Get a tannery. Do not tannery. I do not want to tannery. Stock up on that. Where was it that we saw... Was it here that we had all the poison equipment? Oh. No. Yes, yeah, so a poison mace. Okay, I was seeing if I could, like... Fiber string. Ooh, actually, hang on. 
I don't know how to make a fiber string. Okay, well maybe I can't make the mace right now because I don't. I don't know how to make a fiber string. The other stuff is all fine, but the fiber string is something we don't know. Let's take a look. Uh, tannery, we don't have any options there. That's not going to be it. This is definitely not going to be a fire string. Oh, you know what's going to be? It's going to be the loom. Yeah, so I can't make the poison mace right now. There's uh, there's tech I can't make there. Oh, uh, where is our food situation at? Don't I have a bunch of stuff to make some uh, beetle sausage? Oh, right. I don't have the cauldron. That's the problem. Alright, so we need to go out of our way for stone. Otherwise, food's going to be a problem pretty soon. Because I'm killing stuff that gives me stuff I could cook. I just need the thing to cook on. Alright, big guy. There's at least ten. Unfortunately, because I'm not well fed, I'm gonna have to keep bandaging up to get my life back. Alright, got more bark. Some stone down there we can use. And just like Valheim, it does seem like there's a very, 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 very heavy amount of just resource gathering. What about you? I just want stone. Again, this is one of the things I could see being really much smoother with multiplayer. Using Yeah, Swamp Iron was a slog. Oh yeah, we um like I had played Valheim before I started streaming and like it kind of burned out on it. Um and we had a you know, people had asked me to play it a number of times as like updates popped out. And I did one maybe I think I did twice. Um one I had intended playing multiplayer and just I started and I think I think the others I was playing with just, um, didn't hang out. That was before we even hit affiliate, by the way. Um, and then the second time when I revisited, it was like, we were getting towards the end of stream, and it was around time to, like, start doing the proper grind in the swamp. Um, and I was just, like, already, like, yeah, I just don't even want to do this. Because I'd already done it multiple times. Like, my, my stance with Valheim is still, it's probably a really good game to go through and play through, like, you know, two, maybe three times. But after that, the uh, material grind is just too much. Like, the thing what I'll do with this game is I'll probably play through whatever progression is here, probably the one time. Um, and then just kind of let it sit. Unless I got a bunch of other content creators to play with that, like, you know, we're going to be splitting the load so much it won't be that laborious. I mean, I'll probably just, like, sit it aside and leave it alone, you know, for a long time until it's farther along. A 
Hello there. Hey. Let's see. Um, Farnage says, about a year ago, I built a tiny castle with tons of chests everywhere, and it only add to it. Uh, Cappy then used another tiny castle. Gotcha. Yeah, now there's been, um, for especially early access to that style, where they just keep, you know, one-upping the what's there. Oh, I probably should make that flint sword. Take a sip. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Ha <laughs> hum. I feel like I'm wasting materials by repairing so aggressively, but it's fine. Alright, cauldron. Sorel broth. Alright, let's start grabbing all the bug bits and everything from here. Um, so grab you. Grab the bee heads. Grab the edible mushrooms. Grab the seeds. Grab the roach meat. That chest, um... I've got a chest of flametal that I don't know what to do with. Gotcha. Yeah, it's still kind of annoying that, um... You know, processing those is a mistake. Ant skewers, I have a whole stack of those. Alright. So first, let's put one of these things on the bar and just start eating it. Um, where are you? I had a bunch of ant skewers. There we go. And a check in something. Uh, let me just check one thing. Uh, yeah, there's some, uh, some people that I could potentially be playing multiplayer with that they might be starting one. Um, we'll see. Okay, grab those. Grab those ant heads. We'll wait to grab your stuff. Faye's gonna try to take all this food stuff and make it into food right now. Cool. Oh, I see. For the roast stuff, I actually have to roast it, so I actually do need a campfire as well. Um, alright. Alright, so we're getting all sorts of good stuff out of this. Basically the big thing is I'm I'm processing a bunch of this junk into something edible. Uh we definitely couldn't do anything with the bee head yet, from what I was seeing. See if I can't do anything with the berries. Yep, alright, so let's put some of the stuff back. Um, we don't need the berries. We'll actually go here and say store all. So if you have anything that stacks, it goes away. Alright, um, we had a bunch of extra fat. We got stone. We got seeds we'll set aside. Put away more fat. Tons of bark. If it wasn't nighttime, I'd work on building the uh, the base more. Just can't see anything. Now, a bunch of those lizards and all that should have respawned. Oh, it's just you. So go back, kill more geckos, get more bones, get more hides. 
start making all that kind of stuff. There we go. You, uh... Alright, so it'll back off after attacks. Unless I go after it. Give me more hides. Yeah, so it definitely feels like the style of survival game where you end up grinding materials off of killing stuff again and again and again. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. yourselves up again. Alright. That's interesting. You have a bridge over? Nope, you're just a big rock. Alright. Yeah, I'm guessing for the taming what probably is, is if you have the, the treat for the appropriate animal when you weaken it, um, I'll get like a not a not a prompt. I don't want to overstay it, but like on the right side, like it'll put it'll be like push F or push E or whatever to attempt to tame it. Yeah, it'd be fun to get um get a group of content creators together and play some of this. Or other people, like I shouldn't say just content creators, that's not the point. Um either content creators or other people I know won't break TOS, so like people I know have been around here for a very long time that's like, yeah, I know I can count that person not say something or do something that I gotta worry about, you know, my channel getting in trouble for or whatever. That must have been a crit, because that has more damage than we've been doing. Alright, how are we doing on our stuff? We are at 11 out of 18 hides. And the bones, it looks like I have more than enough bones, so I'm not worried about it at all. It looks like you've used bones for a lot of different things. It does make me both curious, but also concerned that what's going to end up happening is um, I'm gonna get all these hides and get the hide stuff, and they're gonna turn around and be like, by the way, now I can get even better stuff with leather. That comes from the exact same thing, I just have to process this into leather. Um, I also need, like, the fluff, the insect fuzz or whatever it is, uh, which I believe we get from the bees. 
Um, and I have some, but it's probably not enough. That shouldn't be too bad, though. The bees come in groups of, like, four. Hey, Ken Karma, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I don't think that fluff is only for pills. No, you gotta go through a lot of bees to get a proper sized pillow full of fluff. It's a very significant investment. It's pretty good. It's uh, it's a little grindy, uh, kind of like Valheim. Um, except instead of grinding ore, I feel like I'm grinding enemies. But it's not bad. It's one I could see doing a playthrough of and then, like, not touching for a very long time. Like, it's definitely one I wouldn't want to do three or four playthroughs because I'd just burn out on it. Behold, my glorious, it's made out of two different materials home because I got more technology as I started building it. One of two of my houses. All right, water beetle, come on. Let's go. I know you're going to fight me. Come on. Hey. Hey, don't break my stuff. I mean, I'm breaking my stuff too here. He almost died. It's fine. Um, all right, let's... I think this is fine. Okay, so it's very Valheim-like. I, I feel like I should be making that sword. Okay, do not make the leather. I need hides, not the leather. All right, um... All right, so my hope is that maybe because we left the area a little bit, I might be able to go back and have the geckos show back up. Because I would really like to get these hides done. So I can upgrade our equipment. Move our wits, our uh, world up from wearing leaves to uh, wearing hides. All right. But yeah, what little I played of um Grounded, this definitely doesn't even feel remotely like like thematically they're similar games, but it feels like that's kind of where it stops. That very genuinely the exploration feels different, the world feels different, like almost everything about this game does not feel the same sort of thing as grounded. Let's see, there's a wasp up here. Okay. More green beetles. Not seeing any more geckos, though. Huh. 
All right. I am curious what we fight we find in the mangrove forest. But um I have a feeling we need to deal with what's here first before we move on to the next biome. I can't think of many of these style of games that haven't worked in that area where by some means or another they make it hard for you to go to the next biome. Either they make the enemy super dangerous or it'll be an environmental hazard you gotta worry about that. You know, there's a counter for it. Get wrecked. So a lot of kind of up deck. And it could also be that I need equipment to be able to go into the next area to even get the materials out. Just like here we had to get flint to be able to um to mine a bunch of stuff. Maybe go up that ramp, we might find some geckos. We're mostly just seeing the green beetles up that way. So what are you? Are you are you exploitable in any way? No. Uh, if we look at the map, how much of the map have we explored? Oh, we've actually explored a pretty good chunk of this map. Never mind. I, I felt like the world map was much bigger than I thought. We're already explored about a third of it. And we've only been to two biomes. I don't think that's terrible or anything, but it's definitely not a ridiculously large map. Now, this map does look handcrafted. It does not look procedurally generated. Can we be cool? You get to choose violence? Good, you didn't choose violence. You're going to choose violence, but that's okay, because I come with the intention of violence. Hey, wasp. How you doing there, buddy? I would like your stinger. That's interesting that you give chitin as well. I guess I should have expected that, but still. Alright, what am I dropping? Um out here. Green beetle that way, poison mushrooms. Died way easier than I anticipated. Clearly a wasp had died right there, so that's interesting. I'm I'm finding all sorts of wasp bits everywhere. Which makes me very curious. have a couple bottle caps. I don't have his inventory space. Um, so I want to get 10 stingers, even though I can't get the um, the fiber thing I want because I don't have the spider silk. Um, getting the stingers now just means I don't have to get them later. 
We'll just go over down there and aggro you. Big wasp. Insect wings. Go on. Um, what am I dropping for the insect wings? Okay, we'll ditch some fat. Alright, so let's start heading back towards um the other NPC over here, the one that makes our armor. Because I figure we can just go ahead and make what armor we can while we're up here since we are kind of being delayed by gecko spawns. Uh, we also pick on some bees and wasps and that along the way to get our um, insect fluff. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm all up in your turf. What are you going to do about it? Gonna get mad? Gonna get upset? Yeah. Is there a leveling mechanic that they don't give you information about? Because I definitely feel like things are dying easier as time goes on. Um, alright. Well, this is... else can we ditch because like we haven't upgraded our weapon in a while so it's it's not that we just got a better weapon it's like you know oh hey better weapon kill stuff faster yay it it definitely feels like I've been rocking this uh, flint spear for a while and I'm either doing more damage or something so maybe it is there's like a leveling mechanic, but they're not verbose about it. There's not like a place to look and say, oh, you've gotten tier three stabby spear skill. Need a decent amount of fluff, and you're over this way. Yeah, right at the bottom of your base. Alright. I also think there's a game where inventory woes happen. Okay. Make me some equipment. Alright. Um, so we have a cowl. We got the leggings and all that. Inventory is full, of course it is. Um, Alright. And then a tunic. Alright, I need both insect fur and leather. So we need seven more leather, five more insect fur.
We should definitely be able to do both of those once the spawn resets. Can I build a chest at that guy's place? Uh, probably. I get where you're gonna go with that, is to, um, to leave behind the insect fur and, um, not leather, the hides. Which isn't a bad idea, by the way. That said, I'm guessing there are going to be the same supplies to repair stuff. The, the insect fur and all that, because that's the way all the other weapons have worked. Thank you, Crass, for subscribing for 10 months. I'm still waiting for you to ride a bug around. Rules, tap, rules, tap, <laughs> rules, tap. Hey, Chris. Thank you for the tier one sub. You've been sub to the channel for 10 months, and I really do appreciate that continued support. Um, I do hope you are enjoying the advertising and previewing, as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again for the continued support. Um, so the thing that I'm trying to figure out is we did notice that the gecko, when I'm stabbing the crap out of it, it says tame. Uh, no, it's like, it wasn't bait. It was no treat available. But we don't know what the treat is. My assumption going into all this is that the treat in our circumstances is going to be different for each bug or thing, and I just have to figure it out. Or there'll be something I craft that's called a treat. Technically, your six month renewed, because you got me for a bit still. Gotcha. Was, wait, was that six months? It says for one month. Right. Oh, yeah, because the last one is six months. And it renewed for one month right now. Not unless it just had incorrect UI, which, let's face it, this is Twitch. Who even knows anymore? I see a gecko. This went down at this point. All right. the announcement only ever says one month sub i definitely doing six months at a time each month i get to spam you oh it yeah so what's probably happening mechanically is what are you that you're glowing like that i don't want it whatever you're selling i'm out oh no 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 well Ow. And we sleep and pretend it's not didn't happen, and we go get ourselves our stuff. Alright, let's go get our stuff. It definitely took more hits. Then recall taking the last time to kill those. Alright, so I'm assuming I can go back up to where we fell from and recover our stuff. Huh. 
Okay. Because there's all my stuff right here. Oh, yeah, like, just leave behind important stuff. Um, get rid of those two. There you go. Um, on the positive side, it's daytime now. Can you keep your graves for free chests? I tried earlier to put stuff into one and it wouldn't let me. So it's out only. Which wouldn't surprise me. That's the same way most of the games that have that kind of thing work. Alright, I see you. Don't trash my house. Get over here. Or just nope out of the existence. That's fine, too. All right. Um, let's see. So I still need... What was it? Made two of the pieces. Here, let's go to... Codex. I still need seven hides. An insect fur, I supposedly have none? Oh, it must be in one of these. I must already have a bunch of insect fur. Okay, insect fur, we're good. So let's grab that. So it's literally, I just need the hides. Just double checking to make sure I don't have like, some weird stacking thing going on. Yeah, because that's leather. We just need seven hides. Let's ditch more stuff than this. Let's think this through. Uh, where is the fiber? There we go. Grab a stack of that. Um, I have a lot of junk on us. Like, it's good stuff, too. I just have a lot of yes. Sure. Put the leaves away for now. And put a stack of wood away. Go here. Make a bunch of bandages. Let me double check. Um, it looks like a group of people that I've been playing games a little bit on and off, um, the ones we did borrow trauma, it looks like some of them are starting up this. So I guess the question is, chat, would you rather see me continue what I'm doing right now, uh, just trying to get the progression going, or would you rather see me jump back out um, and help some other people like get started, start doing some multiplayer? Um, I'm good either way. I don't have a strong preference one way or the other. Can I carry the character over? Yes. Uh, with this game, yes. It would be this game. Um, I would have to check to see if they would, um would want me to bring over an existing character or would want me to start one new. Because um, I do know for me personally, in games like Valheim and Terraria and that, where you can move your characters between, I generally, when I'm hosting, I don't want people bringing in already set up characters. But I mean, now that we already know what we're doing, I don't actually expect it to take that long to get some progress. Why? Oh! Because I was looking at my stamina bar for your health and not on there. Uh, fresh start? Yeah. I think it'll be good. 
Um, trying to make sure, like, trying to see if they're, um, Let me, let me get back into position and double check to see if they're good. Um, cause yeah, I think, I think it'll be not, not as bad. Oh, okay. So that thing doesn't aggro right away. It starts, it starts chirping at you basically as a warning to back off. And then if you don't, then it attacks you. Okay. Yeah, because one of them said, give me about 20 minutes, and that was 20 minutes ago. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two seconds, I'm going to pop in here. Let you know where you are and where not to build. Yeah, so what I'm going to quickly do is, just so we don't have to deal with stuff attacking, I'm going to X out our game, because they should spawn back in there. I'm going to pop in the restroom for two seconds, because i got to go. Then we go ahead and reach out to them, being like, hey, you cool if I join? Um, and all that good stuff. I'll probably mute the system audio for that. Or I'll probably mute... Basically, I will mute the Discord stuff so you don't hear it till I know they're good. Just so that way, if they're having a private conversation or whatever, I don't pop in. And I'll be right back. All right, bear with me. I'm going to see what the deal is with them. Uh, so I'm going to take two seconds and mute what I believe is the channel. No, they won't be in that channel. They'll be on the system channel. Um, so I'm going to start playing music. And then mute the system stuff. Um, if you'll bear with me for a minute, I'm just going to double check what their situation is, see if they're ready to rock and roll. Um, bum, bum, so yeah, it'll be on the system side. That'll be good. Microphone should be good. Sorry about that. Okay. Hola.
Uh, doing good. You all playing Smallland? Oh, my bad. No problem, then I'll let you be. Okay, so I'm glad I checked because... Um, oh, I had the mic up. But yeah, I'm glad I checked because they were actually playing... Um, it's a game similar to Phasmophobia. Uh, it's a good game, but it is definitely not a fit for the channel. Um, so that that's the reason I double-checked, so. That's all good. Um, what is it? It's like Demonist? But yeah. We'll go back to right what we were doing. Alright, so how many hides are we up to? Four? I need four more. We were just uh we were just experimenting to see if uh if I accidentally re-enter the game it respawns all the things. That's what we were doing. It was just science. That's all. Yeah, no, the uh the people I popped in yeah, I got system audio back on. From what I thought I didn't. Um, the people I popped in who were playing that. Some of the ones you're we talking about. Um, one of them was just going, you know, I don't actually know how content rich the game will be. Um, I honestly think there's a lot of opportunity for stuff to do in here. Yeah, that said, you know, obviously we're still new to it. That said, I do think, like, realistically, tomorrow and all that, um, when I go and stream. Uh, I foresee us playing more, um, Sunhaven. I don't, I don't think we'll grind this out. We'll see. Like, if I find a group of people to play with, that's a different story. But if it's just me solo, I think this is a thing that I probably do a stream of. Um, and then, like, get farther in development. I don't think I want to sit here and play through all of the content they have right now by myself. Because I worry it'll be a Valheim situation where I play through the whole thing and I'm burned out in the game. By the time, like, it's farther along and it's more interesting. I'm glad we're checking it out, though, for the record. Alright. I think I just need one more leather. Nope, we got it all. Let's go back to... Oh, I gotta remark him. Mark our spawn, mark bat. Alright, that should be our full set of armor. And then, until we start doing spiders stuff, we're good there. My hope is once we kill this big beetle, that uh, after we kill it, the um, the NPC up here will either tell us how to do treats or like give us an example for one of the things like, oh, go catch the dragonfly, you just need blackberries or whatever whatever the gimmick is. And granted, hey, 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 bug, hey, hey, friend, I need you, I need you to come down to my level. All right, buddy, down. No, 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 it's fine. I wanted to see if I hit him once or twice. Yeah, so that one never showed tameable on it, whereas the geckos will show tameable on the right, but that I don't have what I need to make them tamed. I just realized I don't have anything I need to do in here. So the things I think this game does well is, I would say, the world is amazing. Like, really, really nice world. Um, I'm noticing there's a bunch of different biomes we got going on. They all have different materials and all that, so it's going there. 
Um, the world map size-wise feels decent. Like, we've already explored about a third of the map. They've got... One second. Yeah, let me, let me out. Which that's going to lead to one of my negatives about the game. But, um... But, like, you explored about a third of the map with, like, lots of wandering. So it's not a huge world. But, like, it's bigger than, um, uh, Grounded is. Um, but it's not big like Valheim where it just, you know, it continuously scales. But that said, with this world, there feels like there's a lot of variance in the world. Like, this doesn't seem procedurally generated at all. This feels like, um, satisfactory. Where someone took a lot of time and effort to make the world. Um, so I actually appreciate that. There's some games that procedural generation makes sense, but there's other games that having a, a handcrafted world is the better choice, in my opinion. And there's place for both of those, by the way. Like, I find a lot of, um, roguelike, roguelike games, the, uh, Procedural generation tends to be way, way better suited for the job. Whereas, I honestly find a lot of survivals that actually handcrafting your world is better. Now, don't get me wrong, then you do suffer from the problem that once you kind of learn your way around the world, you already know your way around the world, and that's a negative. But I found procedurally generated worlds like Valheim's world very quickly feel very samey. Yeah, Penguin. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I'm. And this is going by memory, it's been a long time. But like I said, um, very genuinely, and I mean, I haven't actually been up here, so it's like this area, kind of center I explored. Um, it feels like a pretty big world, especially since I've actually been going out of my way to traverse it. Okay, so I have the cowl and I have the chest piece. All right. Oh, right. There's a weird... I don't know if it's a bug. There's a weird thing that does that when I pick up my inventory, it doesn't stack stuff right. Like, I'll have the inventory, but it doesn't end up stacking it. Let's see. Give me the wrappings. Give me the leggings. Okay. All right, with that, we're, uh, we're fully armored up. So I should make the shears I need for doing the spider stuff. Um, we did... Ooh, don't fall. Still getting a feel for what I can and cannot. That didn't even hurt us. Get away with flying-wise. Is it, that's how we're grounded has an edge, though. Um, is that you can platform off anything and the world reflects to you. So, like, bumping a grass blade uh, will react to you. So, the pretty nice. Yeah. That kind of stuff is nice, but to me, that's, like, a nice effect to, like, kind of get you into it. Um, so, like, I get it where, like, me running through this. I mean, they do push, but it's not amazing. Oh yeah, and that was, um, that's a big reason why I say that Grounded is, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Because, like, it fits all the nostalgia marks there, and it's the backyard and everything. Yeah. I think that's keeping in mind the, just the early accessness of this. All 
right, so let's go here. Store all that. I will put the wood here for now. Drop the bark here for now. Drop the insect for your fur. The bones here for now. Store all that. Okay, so we're about to put in a particularly big fight. Um, so petals, nectars, and seed oil. So petals, nectar, seed oil. I just realized when I popped in there, I should have checked in text what they were playing before I popped in. I feel dumb about that. Uh, where's the seed oil? I thought I had a bunch of it laying around here. I mean, it's fine. I can make some right now. Still know what we're going to use the leather for. Um, So make our seed oil. this tiny people we are tiny people um all right so i am going to make the flint sword let's do this grab the axe put it there move this to the bottom of the bar just so i have all my tools on the bottom here um the flint shears i'm missing fiber i have a whole stack of that over here so grab the fiber so flint shears, that way we can collect spider silk. So that'll be a thing. Uh, were you shrunk or are you just like a borrower? Uh, more on the borrower. Like we're, we're like pixie fairy something of that nature. I don't want to move it that way. Something of that nature. Oh, right. I do need that. Let's deal with this real fast. Um... It pleases me that you know borrower. Yeah. Okay, so stack 10 high. Alright, now we got a stamina potion. Alright, and put the nectar away. Put the petals away. Put the bug limp away. Put the resin away. Or not resin, the fiber away. Now I put the resin away. Store all. Store all. Uh, have herself a nice meal of an ant head. And it's time to take on a heckin' boss. Nope, I lied. It's time to repair my spear that's right about to break in my hands, and then it's time to kill a heckin' boss. I, uh... I probably need that spear to not be... Oh, what am I missing? Fiber resin, flint, and refined wood. I think we had all that here. There's the fiber. Here's the resin. What else did you need? Is refined wood and what? Flint. Okay, flint, flint. Oh, I'm probably low on flint. That's fine. It'll only take me two seconds. Um. So grab some of the wood. Go to this. There's refined wood. Boy, that stack of wood. Yep, I have a review copy. Is it open world or is there a story? I'm suddenly very interested. Um, it's open world. There is some bit of a story, but right now the only thing I know of the story is that some bugs, like some of the critters in the area, they stop being like chill. They started getting all violent. Um, and we're still investigating that. How much story there is, I, I couldn't answer, unfortunately. But we're gonna go kill a horned beetle over here. But um, play-wise, it feels very, very Valheim-like.
Okay, so let's go repair our spear. Oh, and you cannot swim. Like, canonically, you cannot swim. You got shot so hard it made you bald? What? Oh! You put a special... Oh, I didn't see. That's funny and terrifying. Alright, drop the resin. Okay. That said, I think I've I've said on the uh, the stream that from what I've been playing this because it does feel like Valheim. What it's probably going to be is I'll do this one stream where I um I'm playing it solo, but uh but I would be down to play more multiplayer because it definitely 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 feels like a multiplayer game. All right, the last time we faced. You utterly wrecked me. All right, uh, pierce damage, that's right. Yeah, this feels way better. Alright, I'm really not doing well in dodging that. I did not put potions on my bar. We'll just do a cheeky nibble, a cheeky bandage. My timing is off. I took two hits from it. Feels like I'm playing Dark Souls. Just with bugs and everything. You got your wish list? Gotcha, gotcha. Tiny Valheim. Yep. Rhino split horn. That's what I figured is when we killed it, we're gonna get some type of unique resource. Tiny bug souls. Yep. All right. So now I need to go back to that guy because he was like, "Kill it." I don't like being out at night. The scary bugs come out at night. I think that dude won the thing. Yeah, I believe so. Um, there's a bunch of bugs out at all times of day, and then there's different bugs that come out at night, and generally the bugs that come out at night are more dangerous. Um, like, I won't spoil a whole bunch, but like, to give you an idea, there is grasshoppers, and most of the grasshoppers are pretty chill. Uh, but then there's nighttime grasshoppers, and they will eat your face. Oh, they only come at night, mostly? Ah. All right. And so I took the time to uh, do all that prep, make all those potions and all that, and we didn't use them. I used, like, three bandages. 
And I ate an ant skewer. No, oh, and you can tame animals and ride them. I just haven't accomplished this yet. Like, we have established you can ride a gecko. Um, but I will say the two negatives in my mind um, is one is the lack of settings. So, like, when you die, you drop your stuff, um, all but your equipped stuff. And your bottom bar doesn't count as equipped. I mean, like, whatever thing is actively in your hands at the moment you die and your clothing is all you keep. Uh, the rest just falls on the ground and you have to go recover it. Which isn't the end of the world, but I do really wish that it was an option to either... Like, I'd say either your tools are spared and you just drop your, like, uncrafted stuff or you don't drop anything or you leave it as is. Uh, that'd be one negative in my book. The other negative is that you can't pause. It just treats the game like you're always multiplayer, even when you're not. Uh, that's That to me is the really big negative, because like if your doorbell rings or something, too bad. You, guess you either ignore whatever's happening out there, or you just die. But um, the world is amazing. The itemization so far feels pretty good. Uh, the progression feels pretty good. I'm neither here nor there with the story. I haven't experienced enough to have an opinion. But it's not grabbed me yet. Hey, Vanguard. Glad to see you're still in one piece. I have brought you the Rhino Horn. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way here, down to the beach, though. It attacked me on sight. It's very unusual. I suggest you visit, uh, Lysandra. She might have some insight in the matter. She is an expert on creatures of the swamp. Alright, so our map is updated. Okay. Oh, before you leave, please accept this recipe as my thanks. I found this gecko tree to be, treat to be very effective in calming down geckos on the beach. Once tamed, they can be loyal companions. That is exactly what I was expecting it to do. So now we should be able to tame a gecko. And then we will ride our mighty steed, that is a gecko, into combat. Now, for the record, we got we got the recipe for the treat. I'm probably going to have to make it. Um, but I suspect A, A, B. But I suspect it shouldn't be bad. My, my guess will be stuff like, um beetle hearts or something like that. Something that's not a super common resource, but it's not super hard to get. Uh, because I'm gonna go under the impression that stuff's gonna happen to the animals you ride. You're gonna find something tougher than you are, run away, and your ride's gonna die. Alright, well, we'll just fall and hurt ourselves real badly. It's fine. Alright, so is it something I can craft on my person? No. So craft it on our bench? No. Stone cuttery? No. Apothecary? No. Not gonna be the tannery. Campfire. Alright, real talk. Where the heck do I make this? Hey. Hey. Alright, 
Alright, back to what we're doing. Um. Let's see. Gecko treat. There we go. Gecko treat. Ant head, bees head, po- Oh, I probably have all that. The only one I might not have is the ant head handy. There's the bee heads. Alright. So... I'm gonna need to get some seeds. I'm going to need our ant head. Um, we should have petals here somewhere. There's the petals. So literally I just need to go outside, get some seeds, which I can just get from cutting those down. Um, then I need to go find some ants and kill them real fast. Should be plenty of seeds for right now. Um, I know where there's some bull ants not too far away. I think we had carpenter ants up by where the wasp is as well. Let's, let's drop off the fiber real fast. And check up here where the wasp is and see if I can't find those bull ants. Or not pull ants, right ones. And you have a grasshopper treat uh, that you could be riding a grasshopper this entire time. Oh, did I? I just totally overlooked it. Doesn't surprise me. Let's not go up there. Let's we'll take a different route. We need some ant heads. My hope is once I once I have a gecko, I'll be able to move way faster. Oh, it's it's mad at me. All right. Yeah, so I'm trying to go up top here, uh, because. I believe we had a bunch of ants up here. Uh, carpenter ants, mostly. They die really easy, and then they give me their heads. And then we make gecko treats. And then we'll ride our geckos into battle. That gecko is stuck in the train. Is up here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to eat eat my ant skewer. Um, and we will put. Oh wait, I have another. Okay, sure. Apparently, I have another stack of ant skewers. I think it'd be able to climb that. Now let's go kill a wasp.
I'm half tempted to do the thing where we get what we want, we let our character upstate, like, update, and then we just exit out and re-enter the game to teleport right back to where we last slept. Just to not have to do the run. Go away. I can wreck you. Yeah, I'm very tempted to do that very spe specific thing I said. Versus running the whole way back just to craft. Are you still following? Oh, you're a different one. Okay, I'll murder you. Or not. Bye. There. Well, I mean, it's an ant head. I'd like to get more than one just in case there's like a fail chance in the bait or there's more to it than that or you need multiple bait to do it or something. Oh, there's another ant. This game also definitely gets in that feel of once you get strong enough to beat something in a head-on fight, you don't feel a desire to dodge, you just run up and face tank it. Yeah, you're getting to the point where all the bees are everywhere. There we go. Get all the bits and bobbles. I think so. Alright, so we're gonna do this whole thing where we exit the menu, we confirm, then we reload our game, and we're back at home. Because, yeah. <laughs> that just feels more entertaining than walking the whole way back. Oh, would you look at that? We found fast travel. Alright, um, and it was over here we make the gecko treat. Seed oil, right. My inventory is full. Um, don't start attacking my building. Hey, 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 hey! All right. So now it's time to figure out how this whole gecko taming thing works. Um, I need to make another box, and I don't really want to, but I'm going to. Let's see, box. Yeah, it's implying I'll be able to, some point, make those insect wings and the things I can glide with. 
but not yet. Uh, I think that'll do for right now. Let's go find a gecko. Uh, we'll stab the crap out of it. And then we'll try and figure out how we tame it. My assumption is once we've weakened it enough, it'll, uh, it'll give us, like, a thing where I can push, like, E or F or something like that to give it a treat. Otherwise, what'll happen is I will, um, have to choose... Actually, let's put the treat on the bar. Oh. The treat can't go on the bar, so that answers that question. Uh, so apparently I'm going to stab the crap out of a gecko, and then some button's going to show up, and to use it to tame it. Okay. Let's get the gecko some food to eat. How do I feed you? Can feed creature. I don't see how I feed you, though. Said drop near it. Okay, that that worked. I don't actually want you to do all that. There we go, buddy. You're all good to go. So we don't have jump. Can you climb things? And do other things still aggro me? So you can climb way more than I can. They can't attack or do anything while on the gecko. Yeah, I don't know. So my assumption is as I stay on the gecko and I go in the water, I'll just drown and I'll be that. I'm running past our gecko. Let's see if it aggroes. Seems okay. Okay, so you take a huge penalty to movement going in the water at all. I didn't mark where I want to go. Um, let's do that real fast. Oh, you are the other direction. I am going the wrong way. That is my bad. So far, the gecko as a mount feels okay. Like, aesthetically, it's cool, but, and I can kind of, you know, cover terrain faster. 
But it doesn't feel like really good or anything. And that's it. I might change my mind when I like, hit some cliff and I just climb right up it or something like that, but thus far. All right, because things still aggro per normal. Case in point. I can't really defend myself while on the gecko. Oh, there's also a good chance that we get to the next base. Okay, and I can eat while on top of the gecko. Hey, Sorry Mage, how's it going? So, I am thinking that, um... When we reach the next base, they'll probably have something for me to do there. Uh, they'll probably end up needing to make another another base location. Yeah, and then like the climbing thing is a little janky. But yeah, still, overall, I'm really enjoying the game. But the the mounts are a little funky. One advantage I guess we have is the gecko has a life bar of its own, and I not I don't appear to have a life bar while I'm on it. So my assumption would happen is if we got into a bad situation, I started taking hits, the gecko would get you know knocked out, killed, whatever, and then I would start taking damage. All right. All right, so I can't climb up that kind of steep wall. So we have to go up a different place. That doesn't go over. Go. All right, goodbye, Gecko. Well. I can't get the gecko back because it's down in the water where I can't reach it. I also can't see what the heck I'm doing. Your companion has been released. Now I was trying to do, but that's what happened. Uh, let's see, sorry for saying, it's great. Um, had fun with the kids, gonna have some laundry to do tomorrow, cause got home and I swear, we looked like we had been rolling around in a gravel pit. Uh, just covered head to toe in dust and dirt. Yeah, it happens. The bummer here is, I can't see anything. I will say, like I said, the gecko I felt pretty underwhelmed, honestly. Like, it had a cool factor to it. But um, it didn't seem utility-wise all that useful. Thank you, Sirius Mage, for gifting a sub to Farnish. Thanks, Sirius Mage, for gifting that tier one sub to Farnish. Farnish, you have yourself some nice advertisement free viewing as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again, Sirius Mage, for the continued support of the channel. It does mean a lot. Sorry, I'm having problems to focus because it's dark and I can't see anything. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're not doing that. Clearly not the way I meant to get up. 
So clearly I'm meant to go up and over. Never mind. Well, so I do think what I might actually do is I do think I might actually switch back to Sunhaven. Um, I've enjoyed this game quite a bit. We played for a good number of hours, but this feels like a game I definitely want to play with others. Um, it also does have a lot of feeling of early access to it. It's it's a good game from what I found. I don't really like the whole, because for, for those wondering why I'm stopping, that's my inventory now, that inventory that was full, including all the tools that I had to farm for. Um, and I can go get them back. But I honestly just don't feel like it. Um, I don't care for games that make you drop everything when you die. I used to enjoy them, but that's before the grind to get those items was such a colossal pain in the butt. Multiplayer, I wouldn't mind that nearly as much because I could have, you know, I could have the person that was going with me when I died drop a bunch of their junk, grab my important stuff, and run back. Or, you know, guard the body, or, you know, whatever. Um, but on your own, running around and then waiting for daytime? Eh. I I would say, personally, if um, when it comes to buying this game and considering it, if you're going to play with friends, it might be worth it. If you're going to play solo, I'm not sure it is right now. I feel like, wait a little while longer. Because um, that needs to be a server sign. Because, like, if, if you get the idea... Valheim is brutal like that. No, absolutely. Valheim's the same way. Um, and, like, I had played Valheim three times over where I got all the way towards that last area. But when I finally got to the, um... The Corpse Run Valheim and no skill loss thingy, too. Yeah. Like, one of the things that was, like, Valheim, for example, if we look at the map, like, I would be able to potentially take a boat out and around to then go over here and get it. Like, that's what happens later on in Valheim. Like, you'd, you'd have, like, an island here. You'd have an island there. You'd have an island there. And you'd take your boat, and you wouldn't have that bad. Like, if you lose your boat, it's a pain. Yeah, no, I get so. Penguin saying, options are nice, but having a mechanic that encourages you to avoid dying is important, in my opinion. Um, it'd be cool if having multiplayer, your buddies could carry, like, scoop up your backpack and carry it. Yeah. So, the only thing, um... You have portals too, right? And I haven't seen anything to imply portals or anything in this game yet. Not saying they're not a thing, um, but I haven't had anything to say that. But, um, yeah, what I was saying is the problem with this one, uh, Pangman, and why, why I would disagree for this game, as you see how I got those tree branches, I have to climb those, and you slide off them weird, which makes them tenuous to climb. So you take fall deaths because your character like kind of does the halfway pull up and then slides off and then skips down the tree branch. Um, so there's going to be deaths that are hard to avoid just because the game is what the game is. Um, so like that other one, and it was because I couldn't see. I, I thought I was way closer to the ground than I wasn't. It was early access issues. Yeah, early access issues. Absolutely. Like, I... For me personally with deaths, like keeping this stuff, keeping what you have in your hands, sure. I would say tools should also be something you keep. The rest of the crap falling on the ground, I'm fine with. Like so all like all the chitin and all that I farm up, sure, and that could hurt bad enough. I like the interior of the hut. Yeah, it is currently um split up between two types of material because I built this half, um, got more tech and needed to expand and all that. More dirty rough than grounded, which seems too clean. Yeah. But um but yeah, so for me for me, like dropping all your uncrafted stuff, I'm on board with. Like I don't I don't think death shouldn't be punishing. But for as long as it takes to navigate the map and all that, it's kind like because what is let's, let's consider the gameplay aspect right now. Right now, the gameplay what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to walk out here. And do that run I was just doing all the way back out there. And in that spot, I'd get over there, I'd pick up my stuff, and then have to probably run it all back because I'd gain more stuff on the way there. 
Um, and to me, that's not compelling or fun gameplay. That's that's doubling back over myself. Um, and this game is already grindy like Valheim, in the sense that I gotta kill, you know, 50 geckos or whatever to get an well, I mean, 20 geckos enough to get my armor and all that. Actually, that doesn't a good example because I get to keep my armor. Like, you know, I have to kill a bunch of stuff to get the um, kite, and I have to kill, like, collect all the sticks, I like, collect all the fiber, I collect all things to make all my tools. So I can't realistically just write off the body. So I'm now being punished by having to run half across the map. Um, and you can only have one spawn point, and I've not seen a teleporter. So if we pretend, for example, I'm running over here to grab one material and run back, and I take a death over here, I now have to run the whole course of the map. Yeah, we don't get a resource from something else breaking in your house. Yeah. So, for me, the drop all your stuff, not, not, to me, that's not a good mechanic here. For solo. Um, especially when you consider you cannot pause the game. So, if I'm running around here, doop, 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 I aggro an enemy. Oh, the doorbell. My choices are I can completely quit out of the game, at which point I respawn back at my last spawn point. Or I take the chance of dying and then respawning back in my spawn point without my stuff. So again, I could say, I have my one and only base, and I need to hike there. And I'm here, I'm about to fight the big bad boss, and the doorbell rings, and I have to walk back. And you can say, well, you should put your spawn point there. It's like, right, I was working on that, and then the doorbell rang. Um, I don't... I don't much care for that. Now, granted, more than likely later I'll get the ability to, like, fly or teleport or something. But we're not in the later phase of the game. We're, we're in the now phase. And already, in this moment, having died there, I don't feel like walking back. Which means I stop playing. So, I do agree death should be punishing. But we have to consider the punishment. Like, regrinding up all your materials. Or doing a long hike over terrain that you can't really map out well. Not a good punishment in my book. And it's fine if you want that. That's the reason we should have the option. But um, I do think I'm going to go back to Sunhaven now. Um, I have enjoyed this game, generally speaking. There's definitely pain points. My biggest two pain points more than anything else. The inability to pause. If I'm playing solo, I should be allowed to pause. Hard stop. There should be no negotiation around that. If I am playing a solo game, I should be allowed to pause. Period. Um, do you know if they can make zip lines or anything? If you can, I would be more happy about that, but it would need to be accessible early in the game. Um, because otherwise the point, like, if I have to get all the way to the end of the game to unlock the thing that makes this not a pain point, then it, it becomes a moot point, because it only matters late game. Um... If I had the ability to fly, like, temporarily, it wouldn't be a problem. If I had the ability to get a mount that could fly a very early game, then it wouldn't be a problem. Now, granted, I understand why you don't get those things early, because then the map becomes too easy to traverse. Um, I, I would like them to have either, like, the ability to teleport or something like that, or a mount that you can, like, get over stuff easier, if they're going to have that. I'd rather they just not have you drop all your stuff. Like, drop all, like, the uncraft stuff, like, your sticks and twine and all that. Yeah, that all, I dump it all on the ground, I don't care delete it. Hell, make it when I die, it's gone. I'd even be okay with that. But it's the fact that I'm losing my tools and that the grinding for the tools is a pain in the butt. Um, like, it's very Valheim in that sense. And people who played Valheim and you've had that situation where you lost your tools where they couldn't recover, which is pretty rare, but um, it can happen. Like, if you go off the side of the map um, and your tools fall outside the map and they're just gone, um, unless you have spares, which you usually don't, it can be basically setting you back an entire tier. It can be really rough. Um, and that's when people just stop playing Valheim. Does the punishment mechanic... The punishment is the player stops playing your game. Um, but yeah, so otherwise... So that's that's the big, the first big, big, big thing that I'm like, I don't like that. Is the, the lack of pause. Because, again, in solo, I understand in multiplayer why you cannot pause. Yeah, or set you back like a week. Mm-hmm. I mean, Valheim is not weak, but you get the thing. It's a it's a significant setback. Um, so that's the first one is the lack of pause. Like objectively speaking, as much as just complaining about the other thing, the lack of pause to me is almost a deal breaker for streaming this game. Like if this game blew up and it became the next big thing, and I by magic became the big name in it, I still wouldn't play it uh, because the lack of pause 
just makes it so I cannot take a break or anything like that. If it's a solo game, you must have the ability to pause. Hard stop. That's just, there shouldn't, like, the only, like, there's very few ways I can see as an exception, and that would be if very specifically that's a gameplay. Now, if a game is punishing, you really, really, really need the ability to pause. And again, multiplayer, different story. Um, but the reason why I think it all works that way is this entirely plays like it assumes you're going to be online. Because, like, if we look at your default settings here, like, you have start a world or online. <laughs> and in the solo world, we could still chat and everything else. Yeah, I just quit Valheim because I died and lost my tools and armor and weapons. Went for the corpse run to get my stuff and died in the same place, the same enemy before I could get my stuff and lost my backpack up equipment. That point I quit. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Now, that takes us on to the second negative I would say about the game. And that boils into the lack of any control about your settings. Like, if we go into our game, we have some UI settings and, like, accessibility so far as control. Cool. But as far as your world settings, there are no world settings. Um, so there's no easy, medium, hard. There's just enemies attack you where they don't. And that's it. Um, or multiplayer. Um, I would want to see, again, like, do I want it to be hardcore? You die and it's done. Do you want it medium core? What happens now? Do you want it to be soft core? You keep your items. Do you want, like, something in between where you drop uncrafted stuff and keep your crafted stuff? I would want stuff like that. Um, so those would be like my two big negatives, a lack, a lack of configuration ability on your game, and then a lack of pause. The, the you're assumed to be in multiplayer at all times, um, because that kind of sucks. Uh, we did run into some performance issues until totally I turned the graphics way down. That's neither here nor there, just kind of noting that even on this beast computer, we did have some performance issues. It is early access, that does happen, but I figure I should note it. Um, now for the positives. The world is gorgeous. Uh, there's really good enemy variety. Um, while it is a grindy game, I didn't ever feel bad in the grind. Like, the worst I got was the geckos, and they still, like, I still only had to kill 20 or 30 of them or whatever, so it didn't really feel that terrible. Um, so, like, all that went. The biome changing felt meaningful. The terrain changing meant meaningful. Um, and then the neutral is, I had no attachment to the story. Um, as best we had the story is, the animals are being mean, we don't know why. That's been the story so far. Um, so don't take away my tools, weapons, armor when I die. Don't want that. They can have it. How do I want? Yeah, exactly. Make it a choice. Like in Balmian, by all means. And I'd even make it so you can change in the middle of the run. Like, absolutely. Just let me change it. Um, that's fine. Like, and you can have some some achievements locked that say you can only have this achievement if the entire time you've had the setting or harder. Uh, in fact, of Factory, Factory lets you chat and solo save game. Still lets you pause. Um, they don't need to be... Yeah, agreed. But I'm saying that's just probably the reason is because this is early access. So generally, I've had a very positive experience with the game. But um, as you can see, the whole the whole item dropping thing and lack of pause... Um, the item dropping thing has kind of been the deal breaker for... Me can, wanting to continue to explore the world. Because I just don't feel like running over to that dead end. Because it was, like, that's a problem. It's a dead end that's trying to get out of the dead end. Um, but it was dark and I couldn't see. And I ended up dying because of fall damage. Which, you know, that part's fine. I get dying from fall damage. Um, that means I gotta go back into the dead end. Then back out of the dead end. And then go, which is just backtracking. And backtracking is a quick way to get me to not be interested in your game anymore. Like, backtracking just to go around, that's fine. 